those of you that are watching these VODs in like sequential order or whatever, one after the other, back to back, all those words that mean the same thing. Uh, I actually haven't played this save file or RimWorld in, I don't know, about six days. I kind of forgot what was going on. So uh, I know that we're in the tundra and I know we're doing Pain is Virtue. We've had a lot of uh, refugees, but I think we're back down to two people. Yep. Here we go. All right, let's get, let's get, you forgot as well. Uh, let me take a, a quick gander at what we had going on. It is currently, oh, volcanic winter. We accepted volcanic winter right at the end of the last stream. And uh, it's for 11 days. And that's exactly when our growing period is going to start up again. So it's still in the middle of winter. Uh, yes, we let some prisoners die. I actually saw a comment on uh, on Reddit. I got alerted that my name was mentioned in the, in the RimWorld subreddit. So I went and checked. And someone was like, I was watching this guy that says he's played a lot of hours, Adam versus everything, and he just keeps letting his prisoners die in the prison uh, to hypothermia. I don't understand what, why he's just letting them, I want them to die, I'm eating them. But anyway, uh, he's not warming the prisoners. And then someone else replied and they were like, well, maybe he's just not very good at the game and doesn't know what he's doing. I'm gonna go with that. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm, it was just funny, <laughs> but. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. We got, we got a banger here. Let me, I gotta shut up. Listen to this. You heard me mention on a Stellaris YouTube stream. What? What was said, Nunya? That's weird. I'm bad at the game. Oh no. This reminds me of kind of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The beginning of the, of the movie. All right, anyway, what else is going on? Uh, we are paying his virtue. I gotta get rid of some of this stuff. It is tundra time. Only two people. We gotta get some traps. Oh, I remember what happened. We had like five raids back to back. That was, that was insane. Yeah, Randy was crazy. I remember that. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Uh, Juliet, thank you for the 42 months. That's forever. Thank you, Juliet. Uh, much appreciated. Man, that is a long time. Um, no, I'm, I don't mean that in a negative way about the comment at all. It's just funny because people will remember things incorrectly or they come in during a certain part of it and they don't get the whole story. And they don't know what's going on or whatever. And then it's like that game of telephone where they tell someone and someone else tells someone. And so I've seen some other comments like that too, um, where someone, it was something about like a clothing thing and someone had it completely wrong, but they said that I told them that and I did not, I don't know where it came from. And the other person was like, well, I don't know how they have 2000 hours of the game. They don't know what they're talking about. Don't do that. And, I was, and then I replied and I was like, I didn't say that. Bad of him. Stefan Anton, I don't even know who that is. I remember something, just mention it passing. Passing being a viewer here? That's pretty awesome. Yeah, they must be a lurker or something. That's pretty cool, Nanya. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, we gotta get this out of here. Just... Oh my god. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, let's go ahead. We don't have a fire to burn this stuff out anymore. And uh, we have like no wood. We can get some wood, but we also really need to get traps down. There's not a lot of wood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just put a stockpile zone out here. And I'm gonna clear all this. Uh, and I'm gonna go to apparel. We're gonna turn on apparel and we're gonna turn on uh, tainted only and set that to critical. Get that, get that out of here. Get that out of here, Bert. Stefan Anon, gotcha. Yeah, I don't know who that is. It might be a lurker or they might have a different name on here. So difficulty of your saves. Try Cassandra 5%. Didn't even make it two years. Oh yeah, Cassandra's definitely killed me early within a playthrough as well. Yep, yep. Cassandra, um, man, I think the last two really hard Cassandra runs that we did, both of them, we almost lost in like the first year or two. I, if I remember right, we had a bunch of people kidnapped and we rebuilt from like one or two people multiple times in those. Place change to unstable? Yeah, center drop raids might now be more common than breach raids. Oh, they're going to be. 
Um, I mean, to talk about that, yes. So, on the unstable branch, um, in fact, Smurf has, had, and someone else, sorry, I don't remember who else, uh, did some, some maths on the test branch. And center drop mech raids are actually going to be pretty common. Um, so, like, we're talking like one in three raid uh, mech raids as center drop mechs. And I have always said that I think center drop raids, especially mechs or explosive pirates, is harder than breach raids. I think it's the hardest thing in the game to deal with, especially with no pause, right? And so they're they're gonna, actually going to be pretty common. And uh, that's right, the auto, the inventor of the auto bong, yeah, definitely not. Um, anyway, and some of the screenshots are showing. Uh, now there is something to know about dro center drop. So each of the raid types have their own kind of raid point range that they can happen in, and how much they can spend. And some of them have caps on them. So for instance, like a breach raid is about 50% strength. So you're never going to get uh, 200 tribal breachers where you will in a normal raid. And that's the case with center drops as well. So even though center drop mechs are, are really scary, especially on no pause, they're going to be much smaller than a normal uh, like mech raid or mech breach. But they're going to be pretty common, like 1 in 3 instead of 2%. Tribal Negro Tally is the best Negro Tally. That's true. Yeah. Hey, we got to flack. Got to flack. I hate it sometimes, but... Unless the dream is completely full of traps. Yeah, it doesn't work that way, unfortunately, but yeah. 2% <laughs> to like 33% is a slight buff, yeah. It's kind of like Dug Too Deep. Uh, in a way, yeah. It's going to be... It's bigger than Dug Too Deep, so the cap on Center Drop is higher than Dug Too Deep Infestation, as far as how many raid points it, it can spend. But it, yeah, that's a good way to think of it. Like a harder dug too deep almost. And without the warning. You have like only three seconds warning or something. Um let's just go ahead and bust out. You know what? We'll just we'll just grab some of this. So yeah, we're staying small on this. I need to get these traps back up. Um I don't really have any wood around. We have to cross the river. We might well, we might can get enough out of just these two. Turn that up. Um, getting that. We'll get some wood out of this too. Yeah, Rainy attacked us with like, oh man, with like five raids in a row. And one of them, I thought we were gonna lose or at least Bert was gonna get kidnapped. Man, I forgot about that. We actually had an all melee raid. We had no traps left and I was kiting them around the base. I think we made it around the entire base two or three times where I was just kiting and I would turn and I would shoot them once and then I would kite them some more. That was pretty intense actually. Uh, we do have SMGs on both that we got from Raiders, so that's really nice. Uh, but right now, we are just trying to survive this winter. And then once we get through the winter and the volcanic fallout, we'll probably work on getting a third colonist. We want our third colonist to be good at social. I can't remember what else they wanted. Social and crafting would be nice. Uh, but social is really important. They're going to be our moral guide. At three people, we're going to need a moral guide. And uh, having them be good at social is, is really good. Uh, we're also working on our next side cast, which is nice. Bert, unfortunately, does not have medical or medical natural med medical meditation, natural meditation, so he can't help out with that. But back in the day, everyone could meditate for grass. But only the naturals could get it. But now, natural either way. Low mood during that kiting. Oh, there was yeah, there was. Take your time. <laughs> So binge watching your new ending YouTube stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, the the um Secretary's ending. Uh our first big playthrough, the Arco Nexus ending after ideology. Yeah, that's a long one. Yeah. Thank you for watching it, Jay. Um let's get this finished. So I wanna use this as a makeshift prison. Speaking of mood, ravenously hungry. Well, let's we'll just literally eat food. There you go. Good job. Does tailing increase the value of leather? Yes, it does. Yep. Uh, in fact, it's one of the pretty decent things to make money out of. Because it gets a multiplier on it. Did I have to restart? No, no, this is the same Tundra run. Same one. We, we had a bunch, um, we had a bunch of refugees for a while. I think at one point we had like five refugees. 
So it looked like we had quite a bit more people than we really did. That might be what you're remembering. Uh, I'm just going to throw some sleeping spots in here so we have a makeshift prison to throw people into when we need to. All right. And let's go ahead and put the work zone around this, these trees so we can get that. All right, we killed a beaver. How to manage food in the tundra? I overproduce during, well, there's two, two ways. I overproduce during the grow season, and then I also uh, eat a lot of people. <laughs> so, let's go, Wander. Welcome in. Insane, welcome back. Yeah, we eat pretty much everyone that comes through, and then also uh, we overgrow. Yeah, we overgrow. All right, uh, that roof is gone, so I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct this. Uh, we cannot chop that, just, just to be clear. Quest available. Many enemies. We just fought many enemies. Let's see what this one is. A 23-year-old cave builder. So another one of the things in the uh, hot potato thing is that you have to try to save everyone you can and do as many map quests as you can also. But that... I'm going to get killed because the base is that base is not set up for like 5% no pause and accepting all this stuff. Uh, it should be really, really fun. Plus, I'm going to have to be paying attention to the charity portion of it. Oh, that's going to be insane. Have strong colony. Have you ever decided to send a small caravan to explore ancient dangers? Yes. Yep. Lots of times. Yeah, it's really crazy good. Uh, in fact, uh, in our 20 year Randy run, which man, that was almost like two years ago. Uh, we went to something like 200 Ancient Dangers. Hundreds of Ancient Dangers. We had a team of maybe three or four or five that were constantly out settling a new map and going to every Ancient Danger. Uh, it's a really good way to get power armors and weapons, tech prints, Luciferium if you need Luciferium. Occasionally get some really good rare stuff like um, Healing Serum, Res Serum, that sort of stuff. Is the audio bugging for anyone else? In what way? You can't double settle the same tile? No, not without a mod. Each streamer plays it differently. Yeah. Might be on Twitch's end. You can always see if low latency mode got turned on. That's the biggest perpetrator of audio screw ups on Twitch. Just click on your little gear icon, uh, blow chat and go to advance and there should be a low latency mode. And you can always try to turn that off, see if that helps. Yeah, we're just, uh, we're researching, surviving the winter, waiting on this winter plus toxic fallout to end. Um, and then there's a polar bear out there. Spikes, when you start speaking, stop speaking sometimes. Hmm. Uh, a new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are building an army. <laughs> that popped, the delay, there was a delay in that, um, between the, the alert sound and... The actual gift subs is like, where, what? Where's this coming from? Uh, Barry, they were the 10 gift subs to Ocean, Zotin, Malinowski, Crake, Craker, not Cracker, Craker Jake. And it's Jack anyway. <laughs> Cracker Jack, I'm sure, is what it's supposed to be. Uh, Salt Wookie Kopi, Broiler, Pat, Jam, and Norkel. Oh, uh, thank you, Barry. Much appreciate it. We're going to have to kill this bear, maybe. Appreciate it, Barry. Thank you. Watch the first form we're surprised how different they all were. We might have to try to kill this bear. It's really dangerous, though. I'd rather do it on my terms. Welcome back. Your steadfast Is this the RNG run? No. That's, we finished the RNG run long ago. YouTube's like three months behind. Research costs double the points on tribal start. Yep. Hysteric, 35 months. Thank you, Hysteric. That's a long time. Cutting corners again. That's right. Guys, we're going to have to hunt this polar bear. And it, Okay, there's something to note here. Burden is currently bugged if you are using it with... Um, if you're using Burden with... Uh, what is it? Rocket Man? They're bugged. So... It doesn't work. Oh boy. Can I 
actually got some good hits. I think I might can just shoot it again. Yep. Don't need to waste those traps. We got SMGs. Fluid religion run. You have a preset. Uh, yes, this is a pain is virtue run. Not, not fluid. We finished a fluid one yet. Yeah. What is death acidifier? Death acidifier is something that they added in a patch after royalty to Empire Pond so that when they die, it destroys all their equipment, all their gear that they're holding, including their weapon. And um, there are several reasons that they added it. But the big one, of course, when royalty first came out, uh, anytime the Empire came, it was just like free good gear. It's like, oh, look at that. Free charge lances and, and recon armor. And you know, <laughs> and you would just kill the Empire or you would um, suffocate them, burn them, whatever. You would get their gear. And so they added uh, Death Acidifier to most of the Empire units so that you can't cheese it that way. Uh, and Bert was from the Empire. We have recruited him. He was a defector from the Empire. He was from that uh, rebellion quest. In fact, if I if I remember right, we are uh, we are hostile with the Empire. Ray Plasmor, if you down them, right? Yeah, if you down them without killing them, they'll still drop their uh, their weapon. If it's not bio coated, you can still wear it, and, and you can strip them and all that good stuff. But if they die, if they flat out die, the Sapphire will pop, and it'll destroy all their gear. Still down as two pawns? Yeah. Yeah. Organizing unfortunate circumstances like quest raids and such. If I, as long, yeah, if they, if they die for any reason, it pops, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's that time of year where it's not frozen in there anymore. So our extra food, our extra meat just expired. I should have uh, turned into pemmican like I had been doing. Stove line, tier three. 34 months, well, a long time. Chilling at work. Uh, it's good to see you, line. Thank you for the continued support. It's a long time, man. That was a lot of meat. <laughs> hey, we got rid of some wealth. Uh, the animatrix is a crier. He lands for something. Yeah. Yeah, that would suck in the tundra or whatnot. All right. Wealth management. Um, it's almost growing season, and the volcanic winter is gone in one day. So we will overgrow some rice, and then we are going to work on getting uh, a recruit. So what I need to do is I need to get this uh, audiogram down. And I don't even care if it's good quality right now. I'm just going to throw it in here. Um, and that way... It's going to eventually need an uh, entire f a floored room, I believe. We can also just do the 5x5 five five closet and cheese it that way. Might do that. Um, or we can actually set up our room for it. Could do that. Anyway, to begin with, I don't really care. We're just going to throw it down in order to get some... Um, some extra colonists coming in, and if we don't like them, we'll use them as for meat. But we definitely need to find a third colonist that's good at social, so we gotta get it started. Make it pretty real. I'm wondering if you can actually move the ideograms. I don't know if they're minifiable. I haven't checked. I know the altars are, so I think these might be as well. Uh, you can do actually some memes for the list, yeah. I didn't lose all purpose, but I'm kind of fine with it because it did drop wealth, yep. Yeah. We're gonna let him finish that. It takes 50. Uh, how are you doing? You're fine. He's really bad at mining, though. Let's go ahead and near, near. I don't know if I'm getting your name right. Welcome in. Yeah, it's 50 steel. Yeah, I don't know if they're minifiable. You don't think so? Can't move them? Okay, thank you. It's all right. We'll throw it in there temporarily, and maybe we'll make a little, um, a ritual closet or something. Yeah, taking over that base tomorrow is going to be really insane. I might just leave it on losing its fun instead of 500% because I've seen the base and uh, it's gonna go in lonely. Odin, welcome back. It's been a while. Finally able to catch the stream again. Uh, I've been doing all right. 
doing okay. Look, it's growing season. Okay, so another thing we need to grow. I hate that it's on the side of the map. We need to grow a little bit of uh, cotton so we can make our own uh, flak this year. And then we also want, if anyone's able to, yeah, they are. Little heel roots. That's a lot of stuff for two people, but. All right, winter's over. Volcanic winter also over. Oh yeah, yeah. You're allowed to change the difficulty all you want. You can put it whatever you want. I was originally planning on playing it at the difficulty I always use. Or I might just leave it on losing is fun. That's right, yeah. But no, I, I did plan on doing 5% no pause even on that, but we'll see. There's some uh, rules in place. If we lose, you can just... It's not... Um, if you lose, you're required to start over on the same save file as all, so... Maybe we'll do 5% no pause. If we lose, we lose. Hey, we got an auto join. Abasia. Did they ever fix this? All right, let's check. We can postpone. Zoom out. Nope, they didn't fix it. And we can see if we want them. Now, the problem is they are from this tribe. So if we don't want them, we go kill them. We don't want them. Iron World Kind is good. Good shooting. 52. So if we go kill them, we're going to anger this tribe. Do we care about angering that tribe? No, actually not, because then we can get more tribal prisoners and more people that have natural meditation. It's a new game. It's the same one from last week. I just haven't played since last week. All right. Bert, you seem pretty happy. You want to kill a man? Let's go, Bert. Close enough. <laughs> Do I have starve? He's not going to starve in 22 hours. Most likely not. But I'm okay actually angering tribals. Tribal raid's kind of what we want. Dead and... Dead and eight. That's good enough. I'm not allowed to do stuff like this in the charity event tomorrow. <laughs> Some high difficulty looks easy. I mean, we're still early game, yeah. Early game's not not too hard in general. I mean, we did have like five raids in a row, but travel raids more like Uber Eats. That's right. Um, sometime I'm gonna be doing uh, trying out some modded storytellers. Probably sometime in December. I'm really gonna. I'm really curious what that's gonna be like. A lot of people have been like, you "Should try so and so. They're way harder than Randy and Cassandra combined." Well, in December we're gonna we're gonna try that out. I probably will uh, play them with no mods to, see, to really get an idea of how, how hard they are. But let's go in Zidian. Tia, welcome in. Val, welcome in. Do, 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 do. Yeah, but if you decline, they added it so that you get a mood debuff. So I was trying to get rid of the mood debuff. If we kill them, we don't get the mood debuff at all. So that's what I was doing. If you look, see, we don't have the minus for that. If you if you decline, you get a minus three, as if you banish them. So, like insect queen. Yeah, I'm gonna try out a bunch of them. I think. There we go. Yep, yeah, no problem. Um, the advent of blood. What is that one? Leader president, we could do that. Like turn in pew. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, I could actually put them in individual bedrooms until we get more people. I might do that. We could just uh, where was I gonna extend it to? I could just extend this and do some temporary bedrooms and still have a prison. It's okay, I really don't like doing individual bedrooms, but I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna be, I have to tomorrow. <laughs> no P music, uh, no mods. So I'll still use P music and no pause, so. Uh, I forgot all the scarification. Yeah, we still need to scarify Burt's, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Burt. Yeah, 
anyway. Doo, doo, doo. I I don't know if I want to change the base or not. I almost feel like it would I would feel bad if I go in there and I'm like, all right, look at all this crap, just tear down the whole base and rebuild it <laughs> for the but I'm probably gonna work on just building defenses for them, man. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't wanna like I wanna I wanna play in the spirit of the of the event, you know. I don't wanna be like, oh my god, what are these people doing? Why don't they also have almost 3,000 hours of the game? How dare they do this? Oh my God, what is this? They put they put flooring where the where the stove is. Rip that crap up, you know? Like I'm not gonna do that. No, I'm not allowed to do war crimes either. Not allowed to sacrifice people. I have to save everyone I can. All kind of stuff. Makes you want to hop on a, a new run, yeah. There's no. There's no option to, to change low latency mo mode on mobile. Does anyone know if there's a place where you can change it on mobile? Yeah, I don't know. Will, you'll probably only get two to three raids. Session call for help on them. You think I'm gonna in three hours? Uh, yeah, if I, I keep on one X, you're probably right. Sure, save them, but harvest. No, I'm not allowed to harvest organs either. Nope. Not allowed to harvest organs or anything like that. Uh, sure, I can show these. So our starting pond is pretty good. Staggerly ugly is unfortunate, but they are good at construction plants and medical, which is great for a starting uh, Negri Tally pond. Super immune tough, obviously. Awesome. Natural meditation. Bert uh, is a industrious nimble psychopath, which is also great. Uh, fantastic at intellect, medical, and shooting. So pretty decent. I don't know if we're allowed to use like recreational drugs. I don't remember. I'm going to have to reread the rules. I was going lonely. I'm probably not allowed to ba make an oven. I have So it's it's funny because when they sent me the list, um, when they invited me to it, they sent me a list of things that I'm not allowed to do. And the very first thing on the list, I was like, they must be watching my stream. The very first thing on the list was, you are not allowed to sacrifice people. <laughs> and I was like, drugs are medical only. That's what I thought, yeah. Can we remove the buy part to at least save someone? I don't know. Is T a drug? Is there a drug in this? Make happiness, but no, I'm thinking not. I'm thinking, thinking that's gonna be a no. <laughs> on mobile as well. Thank you, Shrekker. Uh, lonely. Thank you for the three months. Best things come in threes. Uh, give me an example. No. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lonely. Hot Potato Things starts tomorrow for me at noon. Tomorrow at 12 Eastern for me. 12 p.m. Eastern. My Mine will be from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern. And I'll be on the front page of Twitch during the first hour of that. Do, 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 do. Right now we're just taking it slowly. Yeah, this is my own playthrough. Yeah, yeah no worries. 12 to 3 tomorrow. Um, all right, that's fine for now. We'll get some Vince going in there. That's fine. Any good recent games to recommend? Recent games. Um... I don't know what kind of uh, what kind of genre are you looking for during lunchtime. Yeah, yeah. You looking for a specific genre? 
this is the same playthrough from last weekend. It's just I haven't played throughout the week. So, do you know who I pick up the the play from? I do know. I'm picking it up from Cletus Buford, and then right before him is Burke Black. So, Burke's actually a fellow Indianapolis streamer. So yes, I'm picking it up for someone named Cletus. Believe it or not. No strategy or pure FPS. No sports. Anything else goes? Hmm. Hmm. I have to give it a thought. Have you tried out Humankind by chance? Humankind. So there's currently a giant Black Friday sale for like six more days on a Humble Bundle. So Humble has a storefront for anyone that doesn't know. You can go on there and see if there's any games on sale. Um, if you like games like Civilization, Humankind is on sale for the first time for pretty deep, like a minus 30%. Uh, there's all kinds of really good games on there, but the reason I say Humankind specifically is that it's a re relatively newer game. It's very Civilization-like, but it has its own unique parts on it. There's a demo as well, so that's a nice one that you can try out the demo in Steam if you want first. Um, I've tried it out. I liked it overall. Very Civilization adjacent. Um, why well, just leave that open? I really don't like using those vents. You know what? It's war it's warm enough. Well, if you're pretty fast and you're just burned out on Civ, yeah, I can see that. The Long Dark. The Long Dark is not what I would call a new game, but if you haven't tried the Long Dark, it's good. Uh, have you have you looked at Bass Master 2022? <laughs> that was silly. Uh, I might get some hydroponics going. All right. Let's turn Bass Master. What turns take forever to make? Grim Dawn. Grim Dawn is very good. Yep. Also not a newer game, but Grim Dawn is a really good ARPG, especially if you like the more like slower paced like Diablo, Diablo 2 type. Swords game, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I I was just joking about it. Could have fun, though. Screwing around. Slavers? I don't think we have money for slaves. How much money we got? We could actually... We actually sell components and get this person. His name is Dank Man! <laughs> Dank man. Dank man, if you were at 51 years old, you might be all right. Pyromaniac, jealous. Dank man. Stone Shard's really good. It just had a new big update. Yeah, I like Stone Shard a lot. Another zero social. Yeah. Dank man. Let's go up, Peter. Welcome in. Bassmaster's a music game. That's true. Yeah, that was, that was the best part of it. Whoa, Jackal. I think I was Jackal, not taking any crap. Stab that rabbit one shot in the neck. And then just goes in and eats some food. Like nothing happened. Just leaves him there. Pretty brutal. Um. Alright, we gotta get that lectern done and then we'll go from there. Alright, can you haul that? Thank you, sir. Melee only run. Never seen so much blood. I know, isn't that crazy, Bebo? Man, the last the last section, the last episode of the Melee only run is just I don't I think people think I I mention it to try just try to get people to watch it. And I mean that's true to an extent. But honestly, the last episode of the Melee run is probably the craziest episode, segment, whatever, of Rimworld I've ever played. The map, I think, is like literally 60% blood. It's just insane still any huge or was it reset at some point i reset it every month but it's still at like 60 people right now right then you that's right it, it resets uh at the beginning of each month and the points are refunded and if we have uh, a lot of people left in the queue at the end of the month then the price goes up so last time it was reset was about a month ago less than uh finish off that lectern please lecterns take a lot of work a lot of work. 
Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Summer has begun. Um, we can throw a pew in for a little bit more, and then I can always make him a leader. So I suppose we'll be doing that. Hmm. Will it work here? I might have to turn it. This is just temporary. I'm just trying to get some some rituals going, and then from there we can sacrifice anyone that's not you know what we want. So, Pains, welcome in. <laughs> Good to see you. Hello, hello. Quote number thirty-five ninety-six. Don't die around rapes. He'll eat you. That is absolutely true. Going to four game only, man. Welcome in. That is super true. Trying to watch melee run, but you called a two kabibi. I just hate you and all you stand for. Uh, sorry. You wouldn't be the first, then. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> that run, you gotta grind those channel points so that someday die in the rim. Right? Everyone as aspires to die in the rim. An animal migration of wargs? Interesting. Five wargs. Hey, look, there's some space ship stuff up here. I forgot about that. All right, so what percentage are we at now? Yeah, I gotta move the pew. Wonder if it'll work just there. Okay, it works there. We can get it up to 100% if we make myself the leader. Unfortunately, it's gonna make him um, unhappy. Oh well. Wait, what's my social? My social is one. Birds is zero. Oh my lord. Oh well. All right. I'll be the leader. Or you don't even have to join. I'll just be there by myself. You to have a mega sloth problem. Nah, he's no problem. What am I doing? Just in here worshiping Satan or something on my own? What are the things I'm saying? Adam spoke about the responsibility of his new role. Adam explained his dedication to his beliefs. Adam discussed taking responsibility. Adam explained life's purpose. And there's some mumbling to myself. Yeah, it's a pretty nice map for um for a tundra, yeah. It really is. Tundra maps are not usually too good. Alright, um, let's do it. If this goes well, we got a 50% chance at an auto join. So, here we go. <laughs> if it goes well, 50% chance at an auto join. And uh, if they're not what we want, we'll kill them and eat them. It's a win win. Win win. Speaking of eating people, we got a lot of leather. Well, we need a bolt goods. Uh, fun. Um, we need a bolt goods. Do we have any allies yet? Yeah, I didn't think so. We're neutral. Someone. So it was fun, but not fun enough, apparently. What are our, um... Oh, raid. Uh, they're gonna prepare for a while. Four. Okay, that's slightly less than the last time. I think we had six last time, so a little lower roll from Rend. Right. He's all about all melee right now. I don't know. Was it a random map? Uh, kinda. It was... We picked Tundra specifically, but I picked it because on the world map, it was pretty unique. Let me show you. So someone, uh, literally the day before we picked this, was like, hey, I've never seen you do a run on a road. Have you ever done a, a map on a road? And I was like, it's been a long time. Yeah, I've done one. And then we started this run and I wanted Tundra. And I came up here... And it was really close to three different trade places. And check this out. It's it's an area where two different kinds of roads intersect and there's a river. So I was like, let's try this. This, just, this should be a pretty unique map. And it is, it's, uh, you got the river and you got a stone road that leads up into a, um, a dirt path. It's pretty neat.
They should actually probably just add the traps, honestly. Um, this is actually not a good prison anymore either. Prisons get a multiplier on escape chance based on um, number of doors. So maybe we'll put a. Uh, I gotta quickly log my daughter into her computer. Guys, defend against this raid. I'll be right back. All right, Good job team, you guys did it. You think they all die to the traps and you look and they're all nimble, like tough nimble. It was a close call. You guys almost died, but not today. Quick, get that shark. Shark is out of here. Is that the fast walker one? No, obviously not. It's actually slow poke. We probably catch it. Ah, oh, it's fine. Already Fox PTSD. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. All right. So, uh, how much would we get? So we can do two of the traps back. It's fine. Um, and we'll get a little a little prison going. Another raid. Oh, is raiding gonna do this again? Tag it immediately. Welcome back. Four more all Your melee. This is what happened is last time. Appreciated. And what's crazy about it is the raids are like pretty small because our, our wealth is very, very low. We only have two people. But he just keeps doing like four or five of these back to back to back to back. So we don't have traps. Who is that? Cam. 25 months, Cam. That's a long time. Thank you, Cam. Very much appreciated. All right, guys, we got this. Here we go again. Ooh, nice headshot. Crap. Yeah, I didn't use the trap there. 11 social, nine out, chemical fascination is unfortunate. Cable of dumb labor, also unfortunate. This is that tribe we made? No, this isn't. Quick sleeper is good. Misogynist is, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, decent social, also crazy. A bad back. I'm, I'm just gonna say no on this. Um, oh, I, I didn't check one of them. Industrious, cyclically deaf, cable social. Den four, den 16, all right. Save those ones. We got some rituals to do. Yeah, we actually, I forgot. We actually have a um, human sacrifice ritual. Not even just, it's called the offering. Not even just the execution. So Daniel, welcome in. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Who is this? It's one R squared for 42 months. Uh, I think you R squared. It's a long time, man. A long time. Much love to the R squared. 42 months. Have a great Thanksgiving. Yeah, I talked about it earlier. It was good overall for sure. It's just, it was very hectic because um, my, my mom surprised me by bringing some other family members up and I, we were not expecting it at all. So we didn't have enough chairs for everyone, enough places. 
Um, you know, I had to end up getting more food because I ended up not having enough food for everyone. Um, so it was really hectic in that way, but it, it worked out fine, yeah. Alright. We get some medical experience here. Let's take a look at this. Randy is definitely not asleep during this playthrough. Jeez. See, there's the four that were like back to back to back to back to back. And then we had a little break and then one. And now we just had two like overlapped. Our modest fellowship expands. Uh, Sephiroth. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Damn, we use that here. Counts to save us tier one. So thank you for the support. Much appreciated. Is it like, no, I do. I haven't seen them in a long time. It's been 11 years this all them. Uh, we don't have a moral guide, so it's only gonna be 80%. That's okay, though. Let's do it. Praise sub. Grow upon dying raid. Had a res serum. Now you have two rank five sidecasters. Cheese is real. That's nice. <laughs> well, it's not nice they died initially, but you know. Begin the ritual sacrifice. 80% chance uh, this will go well. If it goes well, we got a 50% chance at... I think this is auto-join also. An infection? Don't you worry. It was satisfying. Not satisfying enough for someone to join us, though. Uh, let's see. This one has the infection. They're also still guilty. Work on raising my social a little bit. Death cures all infection. That's right. Just like how it cures all diseases. Yep. This is a real accurate thing that I have said in the past. We're almost to the point where we will get our second side cast, I believe. We all know it's going to be water skip. Because we got chunk. Oh, we got burden. We got burden this time, actually. Water skip's usable. <laughs> the friendly cannibal. Bear, bear, bear. So I'm just using this for right now. It's minus four instead of the minus seven from up here. We'll get it switched over to uh, barracks at some point. A nice looking barracks. So we can get more people. Right now we're just keeping things super low. Super low. Uh, we are currently going to grab hydroponics and then I'm going to work on getting things like transport pods so we can get some allies. I actually like solar pinhole. I would take solar pinhole. People meme on it, but I use it. It's good. Especially on the Tundra. You can stack, like, you know, tons of them on top of each other and actually produce uh, enough heat to make a room warm. All right, so that crap's deteriorating. That's good. That's good. First call, I made it a year and then died because someone went on a murder spree and attack. Massive caravan pass through. Ugh. It's going larding. It's bad. Leroy, welcome in. Let's go to our square. Slaughtered you all. Ah, uh, room worlds. That's the way it goes sometimes. Unfortunately. We're steel. We have a little bit of steel here. Uh, one bad thing. Well, there, there's quite a bit of steel nearby, but one of the bad things about the map is there's only like two nodes of components that are available. There's probably more if we strip mine, but we don't know. So we don't know yet. But yeah, our goal right now is literally just to stay small, get some side casting and work on getting a third good colonist. We're going to be pretty particular about our third colonist. And we should be able to survive any of the raids. Like, I think even if Randy rolls at 1.5, it'd probably be like seven or eight. As long as we have our traps up, we'll be okay. All right, so in the long term, this will be the um, the barracks probably. Might extend up this way instead. Nah, I kind of want to shoot over the river. I really hate that this is out this way. Uh, I'll extend it out this way instead, I believe. We'll have this be the barracks in the long run. That'll do. That'll do. Do, do, do. Uh, become a more colonist resets the first of the month. Yeah, yeah. And if you put points in, it doesn't go away, so you get refunded. 
play not she love the game it's a lot of fun yeah uh alf see the 10 bits thing Alf. welcome back your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated who is that 20 14 months thank you tweety as well thank you tweety All right, we are going to uh, work on using them to get our social up, hopefully. And uh, if they try to escape, we'll just kill them. It's fine. What is the road? Is it good or or what's it good or bad for? So the road um, on the map itself, it's it's fantastic to be near a road because roads really increase your travel time significantly, especially to have mounts, which is what they call the caravan animals now. They're mountable even though you don't see it. So roads can really lower the amount of travel time it takes to get to places um, to trade or whatever. It's raid, go stop, uh, off, site, problem causers, that sort of thing, right? Um, the thing with them on the map, they do the same thing on the map, is they increase the movement speed as you run across them, which, depending on how the road's set up, could be good, bad, or inconsequential. For us, it's pretty inconsequential right now because it's over on that side. But let's say you have a road that's going vertically through the middle, which I've seen, and you set your base up in the middle. Well, raids that spawn in the top are going to make it to your base a little bit faster because they will literally run down the road. That can be seen as bad. However, since you know the path they're gonna take, you could also just put traps on the roads, ID, etc., and uh, they will hit those on the way down. So some very minor things on map, but it's mainly it mainly comes into play on the world map where you, uh, you can speed up going and trading stuff. I do, I, a lot of times I do private rooms early game when I only have two or three pawns, yeah. Pretty typical. And people always say that. They're like, what? Who's playing this game? You never do individual ro rooms. I'm like, I do in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, we're just taking our time. Um, oh, I was going to look at what other rituals we had, and then we got attacked. Let's see. We got Scarification. Start doing that to Bert. Um, drum parties. Okay. The party's gonna be a little bit harder. Fully random run you're talking about on YouTube? No, we've we did that a long time ago. YouTube's like three months old or three months behind, so we've already done we've done other playthroughs between th that and now that aren't even up on there yet. So um, no, you're not even the only one that asked that today. Uh, uh, oddly enough, no, this is not. This is uh, actually memes. If you want to see, this is pain is virtue tundra run. Rice is actually oh right. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this one's pretty early on. We're on year two, but uh, we're taking it really slow, so. Really slow. All right, um, started a campfire, yeah. I guess we could do that. We're gonna have to get a little bit more wood. We, we are tribal. I could start planting some trees. Not really gonna come um, into play until next year though, because the growing period on this map is very, very low. And then you can have a cold snap on either end of it and trees won't grow when it's freezing. They won't die, but they won't grow. Watch the melee playthrough. Oh my God, that's the, yeah, that's a crazy run. The ending specifically is insane. Yo, dumb labor. Why do we keep getting this? Devil Strand pants and a Devil Strand button down. Oops. So we're going to do. 
We're gonna capture them. <laughs> But really what I'm doing is I just want to move the clothing closer. <laughs> All right, let me drop you off right there. Uh, going to strip. And then uh, throw you out here. There you go. See ya. Look at those tattoos on there. Thank you for your service. Crisis of belief. Hey, wait. Which one did he? Something else. Not ours. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter. Um. Yeah, let's let him finish cooking the meals, I suppose, and finish the rice. Really need to get another person though. So once you're done with the, me, once you're done with the rice, uh, we'll get some more wood. Grizzly bear migration, good lord. Only three. You're free, no need to thank me. Yeah. So, once that's done, we'll get a campfire so we can do the drum circles and then hopefully get a third person that's good at social. Social and then like one, one other decent stat or just good traits. Social and good traits would be fine. <laughs> What's a, a geese migration? Alright. Looks like the polar pol uh, not polar bears. The grizzly bears are moving south and the geese are coming north. Bye geese. See you next year. Maybe. Alright. Yeah, another thing with the charity event tomorrow is it's ideology only, so no royalty. Which would be interesting. So Yeah. No side casting. Side casting, no mono swords or anything like that. A mad hare. Here, let's go get some shooting experience. Where's it coming from? Oh, I hear it. But where? Oh, I see it. There it is. Yeah, they walk north instead of flying. It's kind of weird. <laughs> nice one. Man, Randy is pretty active today. All these events. Bears definitely need to migrate. You only have the base game. DLCs are good. For sure. No mech clusters, that's true. I didn't think of that. Wait! No off-map problem clusters, that's also royalty. No abasia, also royalty. So those are positives with no royalty, for sure. Birds have got three in plants. I think he started as a zero. I know he's botching everything, but it's all right. Oh, I need a trader. Animatree linking. Let's do it. Click saw animals. Business as usual. I'm really curious uh, with the unstable branch for the first time ever. No solar pinhole, it's true. It's going kitten hippie. For the first time ever, they're going to actually be buffing autonomous turrets rather than nerfing them that's really weird asking for one colonist for eight days trigger happy is really nice psychopath's good actually buffing turrets very odd one call beige it's a positive that we won't have to deal with it is what i was saying <laughs> I was saying no offsite problem causers, no abasia, which is a positive meaning. It's a positive that there are no no abasia people in the in the hot potato run. Yeah, that's the first thing I said. No side casting, yep. 
No side casting in the charity event because no royalty. Um, God, we gotta get another person. Might actually switch over to nutrient paste for now. Very pretty unhappy though. Here's on those when I see original turrets, nerf turrets, buff turrets. Yeah, yeah, that'd be kind of interesting to see. Might actually be worth getting them uh, set up in defenses now. It, a really interesting thing about the turrets too is checking how good they are um, per raid point compared to like a colonist, right? Like what per what percentage of a colonist is a turret sort of thing as far as for defense? That's really the number that ends up being important because so explode and destroy everything with the base on fire. <laughs> Take some pets. Let's run. Uh, maybe eventually. Right now, because of it being the tundra and whatnot, I gotta be careful having extra mouths to feed. I think as soon as we level up in social, we're gonna let that guy go. More, you know, kill him. All right, here we go. 68%. And because of the room impressiveness. Take his legs first. Take one of them. Just leave him literally one leg. Stab two pegs. <laughs> Spook about more mouths if he do. Uh, I think I'm going to take the 68% instead of making this room more impressive right now. Although I could just plant flowers really quick. Uh, okay. Alright, we'll get that moved. Bert, get those out of here. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sun. I'm worried about this. I think they fixed it, but don't want to take a risk. Uh, we'll do day lilies. Let's see what that gets it to. Turn into a peanut. Uh, with anima grass, they will cut anima grass. Yeah, if it, the anima grass is in a growing zone. Uh, Max. Thank you for the switch. Part. Thank you, Max. Appreciate the support. Turns ammo being nerfed from the original state. Don't think the ammo got buffed back. Yeah, it's gonna be cheaper to refit the barrels and uh, it's gonna be interesting how much raid points they give is the big one. Like, does, does it taking less materials to repair the barrel make it worth less raid points as well? So more of them it's worth having? Yeah, I don't know. Testing needs to be done. Enjoy the YouTube content. Thank you. What are you watching over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they will also, uh, they will cut the tree if it's in a crow zone, yeah. Yeah, we had that happen. Absolutely. Is that mediocre now? What does that get us to? 75%, so once I get the rest of this done, in pretty good shape. It's times like this that I miss. Tongue. That's not even how you pronounce it. That's how I pronounce it. Did you see? Did you see? Did you hear? I guess this is the that's the right way to say that. Man, we need some traders. We always get the traders in the middle of winter when it's like negative forty degrees, and they show up and they're like, "Whoa, it's way too cold." I know we've, I know we've walked six days to get here, but. Well, let's turn around and go home. It's too cold. Only affects the market value and population tint. Really? So counts will call us for pawn count portion of the raid points. That kind of sucks. Yeah, that's kind of misleading. All right, what percentage are we at? 81 is going to have to do. Let's go. 
Is there a way to start a uh, new realm ideology mechanics disabled? Yes, there's two things you can do. So first you can click on mods and you can literally just uncheck ideology. That will disable the DLC as a whole for your entire playthrough and for everyone, even all the, um, all the AIs. If you want it only basically kind of uh, removed for you, but not for the AI, you can, when you go to choose an ideology, you can click on classic. Classic ideology is still an ideology, but it's set to be like how the base game was, where they don't like corpses and, you know, all, all the, the baseline stuff that you're familiar with them liking and disliking and stats and research speed. All that will be standard if you do that. So if you want to completely disable, just go to mods and ideology is listed in there as a mod. Um, I wanted to just use classic, then classic. Dress and then went outside and been like, nope, two gold. <laughs> but did it take you six days? Oh, snap. Hey, social, pyromaniac. Oh, look at you. Came of dumb labor. Ugly pyromaniac. 50 years old. Nah, we'll find someone better. <laughs> Should we only kill half of them since their name was Snap? I think so. Yeah, pyros are incapable of putting out fire, yeah. All of them. All of them are that way. All right, can you do me a favor? You know this person that just showed up? Can you, uh, can you kill them? Cold blood, please. Oh, they're my rival also, nice. Thanks, Bert. We're gonna, we're gonna have you take that before they die. I don't want you to see them die. Go on, Woozy, welcome in. Snap refice, yeah, sacra snap, either way. Better than a 50 year old ugly pyro. <laughs> yeah, I think we can find something better. I think so. Stash of treasure, poison synthesis. Again. Uh, let's see, we'll do the Jubilee. 81%. Let's go. Terrible! Ugh. Feels bad. How about the celebration of suffering? These guys are very... Very evil. Oh, he's gonna break the freaking door. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty here, Bart. is greatly appreciated. Uh, Superglue, 25 months hype for tomorrow? Yeah, it should be crazy. Should be crazy. Thank you, Superglue. Really do our tribal sea ice. Slaughtered your three starting pets and four of your five colonists immediately. After they hauled everything. Now you're up to microelectronics. You have a ship traders. Yeah, that's what we're working on right now is uh, it's microelectronics. Crazy. One colonist, 30k wealth. Guy, come on. He's gonna break that too. I know I could stop this, but... It's alright, we'll kill him after this. Welcome back. Oh, Your we get it. Your loyalty is greatly appreciated. Alright. Do we end up getting to level two social? Not yet. Not yet. So we'll leave. Baby carrots, 13 months. Thank you, baby carrots. Also appreciate. About to make it harder to get boring, terrible at 10%. Around 100. Yeah, at 100%. Yeah, it always feels like you're cheated when that happens. It definitely feels like you get cheated. Butch time, butch time. What time is hot potato thing? Uh, noon to 3 p.m. Eastern yet. 
that's just me. The event's already been going since uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's going right now, actually. But my part is uh, noon to 3 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. And we'll be on the front page for the first hour of it, which is going to be something else, probably. But something else. Uh, all right, so we're going to turn off the fueling of that. Um, I guess we'll just put a... Yeah, screw it. I'll just put a stone door. Yeah, I'll be fine. It'll be fine. Colonists left on eating debuff. <laughs> yeah. It's on Wednesday, not Thursday. Thank you. Yeah, it's been going a while. I'm going to in be inheriting a crazy base. Yeah. Do you, do you expect lots of love? Uh, I Yeah, I don't know. We're going to be on the front page, so who knows what's going to happen. So here's the thing about the front page. If you are the the one in the middle of the scroller, right in the middle, the, the very front stream on the front page, you can easily get 10 to 15,000 people. So, and it's just, it's so many. Uh, especially on the weekend, 10 to 15,000 people easily. But if you're one of the ones that you have to scroll on the front page to get to, like one of the side ones, you might only get, you know, 50 to 100 extra, which is still awesome, but it, we just don't know. It's a pentagram and ideology thing, it is, yep. Yeah, well, I'll be on the front page of Twitch tomorrow for an hour, yep. For charity. Crazy. Crazy. Lines that are sticking out of the base going to be... So, basically, Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. this is going to be the outer wall. This is going to be the outer wall, and that will give me um, enough distance to set up defenses around. Uh, if, we, if we decide to go that large, I haven't decided yet. I know I want to get to three colonists, and then we'll kind of decide from there. I haven't done, I haven't kept things small a long time, so I might actually just keep this as a smaller colony. But uh, those are the measurements for good distance for when like breaches and sabers break through uh, for our heavy SMGs and eventually charge rifles. Surprise people click on recommendations. Yeah, well, it's, it's not even a recommendation one. It's literally like the one that's auto playing when you get on the on the stream. But crazy how many. Uh, pains, four months. Thank you, Pains. Much appreciated. Look at that. I've been getting your name right. Or I've been getting it the opposite of right. I'm not sure. So people playing that save already and they have never played before. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be something. He will join us I think I'm gonna die. kill these because they are eating our uh, our rice. Uh, also, Bert, I'm gonna have you. Uh, I'm gonna put you down on growing to a th three. Alright. Trisha, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you, Trisha. To old man Minnow. Two months. Thank you, Trisha. I appreciate it. Free heavy fur. Uh, I don't need the heavy fur. I just don't want him to eat our rice. We need we need some bolt goods traders. Like real soon. But they keep coming in during winter. But that's one reason why I'm researching to get to um, microelectronics so we can get some trade ships. That might be nice. Old people need rimming too. Oh my god, there's two of them. There's two of them. Another raid. How big is this thing gonna be? Four again? It's rolling the same every time right now. Four, four, four. Uh, these ones are a mixture. Okay. I'm preparing for a little bit. Got the trap set up. Torture artist. My lord, no one on this planet is good at social. Bottom is this, this is Tundra. Tundra. The 
afraid some of them might be lying over here and set some of this on fire. We'll have to wait and see. Might not, though. You can get a trader for two years and, and just see how many raid points that would be. Yeah, I'm I'm starting to get pretty worried about it too. The more of these that we butcher, the worse it's getting, right? So, uh, I've thought about actually sending Bert on his own to go trade with people. Very dangerous, of course, from for Bert and for me <laughs> being left here alone. Uh, my character will probably be fine if I leave them here alone because the raid points right now are so low, and then. Or reduce even further the one as long as I keep a couple traps up, we'll be, we'll be okay. So now that it's warm, it's very um, it's very tempting to do that. Good, so don't come back, no loss. Yeah, that's also true. You can even do it, this person. Um. And mainly would be giving a gift as well. So purple would be the best one to get to. Have you ever done a ice sheet run? I have, yeah. It's been a long time though. I think 1.1 was the last time I did one. Oh, purple's pretty far up there. I don't know if we'll have enough food to give that guy on his way. Maybe. We'll just sit up there with as much as he can carry, probably. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. It's been a long time since a tiny map yet. Yeah. I will do another one, yeah. Alright. We'll recruit him. Charity event really quick. The streamer got slammed with a raid buildings are in shambles almost the same amount of viewers the event that's crazy build space and that 50, 50 map offered such a unique challenge yeah especially fitting the ship in there too yeah did you end up measuring out for this ship at the very beginning just to be safe or did you just like ah i'll figure it out when this ship time comes wait i just had a thought if you do a tiny map and you travel to the ship? What does the ship look like? Because the ship is bigger than the tiny map. That's, that would be really interesting to see. Yeah, what would that be like? I never even thought about that. I had to fit in the remaining space. Yeah. Uh, try steel base camp. Actually destroy the camp. Fast learner. Brace of creepy breathing. A lot of social fights. Crafting social. Crafting social medical. Fast learner is excellent too. Fast learner with burning passion in these. Go up. You must find out. I hate the tiny maths though. Some pseudo Tetris. Abrasive creepy breathing is a lot of social fights, honestly. Three tries. So you'll have to send both of our people there. Here, go sell something to the North Pole. <laughs> He's back up. I, I don't take slaves, they're not worth it. Not worth it. Slaves are the exact same as a colonist as far as raid points and everything goes. And also we want a social pawn to be our spiritual leader. So spiritual leader can't be a slave. 
Yeah, at the moment, slaves aren't really worth it from like a min-max standpoint. They are worth the exact same as a colonist, as far as raid points and everything goes. So, makes raids harder by having slaves by quite a bit. And they can even rebel at 100%. Um, whatever. Whatever it's called. Suppression, that's the word. Keep them 100% suppressed, they'll still have rights or whatever. All right, getting the trash stack up. It's good. We'll get this guy recruited and then we'll send him out. Why when I open doors inside? So the steel and the wood doors open relatively quickly, but it, it's several reasons. One, like earlier, if I leave this one open, this guy got out earlier with an escape. And so that that bought us time to come over here and deal with things where you end up destroying anything. Um, if like I could leave this one open during the during the summer, I just have to close it during all the rest of the year though, because uh, I need to keep this area warm. Uh, but no no like specific reason. I just I just usually don't. It's mainly though a habit from when drop pod raids were very common, which they're going to be very common again after the new patch. Drop pod raids, uh, center drop pod raids, the easiest way to deal with them is if they are segmented. So if you have a bunch of small rooms that are segmented with doors that remain shut and drop pods fall, they'll get spread out in multiple rooms and then you can deal with them one little group at a time. So that's where the habit originally started from. But occasionally I'll leave doors held open in certain rooms. Um, but definitely can come back to bite you, especially no pause. Yeah, Breacher is going to be way rare. Way rare. We were talking about it earlier. The numbers on the test realm or whatever you want to call it, test branch, for uh, Mech Breach has been reduced all the way down to like... No, literally. It's all the way down to like 25% instead of 90%. Center drop Mech Raids are going to be more common than Mech Breaches. Uh, center drop Mech is going to be like in the low 30% chance. And... Uh, mech Breach is going to be in the 20s or something like that. The more doors they have, the better player they are. I'm joking. I, I used to put even more doors. I stopped doing it as much because of um, of wealth early. But used to, I would literally put a door every other spot. Every other spot. So that we could peek and have more fallbacks and ways to get in, separate people, all that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, I remember. You posted the the uh, screenshots in. Uh, I'm gonna kill this. You posted the screenshots in um, in Discord. Yeah. You hate building up defenses. Just have every single raid ignore them. Well, drop pod raids are gonna ignore them more than breachers do. Honestly, I drop pod raids, center drop mech raids are harder than breach raids, and that's gonna be much more common. Yeah, breach raids are, are annoying, but not hard to deal with once you know how to deal with them. Center drop is, uh, especially with, like, no pause, is very deadly. Our burden is bugged, so I'm not even going to use it. hurt me more than that yeah drop pods are the ones that really bypass defense if you redeem to become a colonist you get to choose the name it's just your name yeah yeah all right patch ourselves up make super tiny rooms that's what i used to do i used to make uh every room was like this size when when drop pod raids and i was playing no pause when they were very common and they will be again i used to make almost every room this size and no bigger than this i wanted everything very segmented um and that's actually one of the um reasons i didn't use barracks as much back then is because i wanted those segmented rooms for drop pods to separate them that's the best way to deal with drop pod center drops is 
Like, when, when you have, like, you know, five centipedes and a handful of other, like, scythers and mechs and stuff that land right on top of you, no cover, nothing like that, it is very tough to get out of that without taking some serious damage or people dying. But if it falls, like, two centipedes in one room, one centipede in another room, a couple of scythers in another room, yeah, you can, you can deal with that. You can melee lock them and uh, kill them with other people, you know, have someone... Uh, with EMP grenade come by while the other ones are breaking stuff in the other room. It's much, much easier to deal with with those shut off. But if you have all the doors open and that happens, they're just going to run out to you anyway. Veteran furniture gives cover, catches fire. Oh, man. That happened a lot, too. Uh, centipedes with the flame cannons landing in your, in your bedrooms or in your barracks or in your... Oh, oh, my Lord. I'm just remembering one time we had one drop in the... Um, in like food storage and just lit it all on fire and it's just gone overheated the base in that part like it's really rough yeah i'll have to start building differently like we used to to a new patch random turrets yeah to pull aggro yep are those fences yep they're fences too yeah forces raiders to walk over the traps. Uh, Exclamation fence will explain it, I believe. Or maybe Exclamation trap. I don't remember. There's a command for it. A little mini guide for it. Which furniture material do you recommend? It depends. Uh, for beds, you want to make beds out of either wood, steel, or uranium because those have higher stats, whereas the stone ones have lower. Then again, stone beds, uh, because the rest is lower, are good for like prisoners you want your prisoners to sleep longer because they can't have a breakdown while they're actually asleep. Um, it's good for like night owls as well. Can be. But for other furniture, I usually do... Um, I usually try to do stone so that it's not flammable. And if you're trying to up beauty or value in a room. So. That's a trap. Flowers need 50% light to grow, not 51. So flowers can grow with a normal lamp. Flowers do take light, but only 50%, which is provided by lamps or torches or fireplaces or, you know, a myriad of things. Uh, whereas, like, food crops take 51%. On the unstable patch? No, I'm not. Is it 30% or is it 50%? It's one of the two, but it's not 51%. I can check it really quick to get the exact um, percent. Yeah, it's 30%, my bad. 30%, whereas growing things uh, like food, I mean, takes 51%. But anyway, 30%, so uh, torches, lamps, and stuff give 50%, which is more than enough for it. Yeah, it's 30%. I was, I was saying 50% because um, that's what these give off. Not what those require, but it's enough light, I guess is the point. The other ones are 30 as well, yeah. Uh, fiber corn is also 30%. Pretty sure. We can double check. Yeah, roses are 30%. I think fiber corn is 30%, yep. Whereas like food crops are 51, so it requires something higher. It requires actual sunlight or sun lamp. Masterwork Great Bow are a good bolt action for early game. You probably have to check the exact stats. I don't know all the stats of every one of them, but I was actually surprised at how good Great Bows are. So I, I would just check the raw stats on it. Um, we had a playthrough where we had everyone with legendary Great Bows and it was really good against everything other than armor. So early game, yeah, it's hard to say. You can grow fiber corn indoors without a sun lamp. Yeah, it grows slower though. So it uh, it's important to note that 30% is the minimum that it needs for fiber corn. And the closer up you get, or the higher you get in light up to, you know, like sun lamp and, and sun level, the faster it'll grow. But it only needs 30% to start growing. Right, yeah, so exactly. So the great bow is basically a lower tier of bold action 
and bolt action is a lower tier of a sniper rifle. So that's kind of the, but a higher quality of one will eke out above the other one overall. In most cases, but I don't know straight up good versus masterwork on those two specifically. <laughs> the weekend. Our modest fellowship experience. Praise the sub. Uh, Bimo, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for using that here, Bimo. Much appreciated. Count it was a tier one, which I'm sure you've heard. 9% of your TV time this month. That's awesome. Thank you, Dino. That's awesome. And welcome in. Welcome in. Bless the child. Uh, how long until we can do some more of these? We could rend Burt Hole there. Rend Burt Hole. Uh, we got two days. Two days. Just asking for your feeling. Feelings over stats and you have been playing as long as you. For me, I would probably end up taking the bolt action. Like without just, if it was, if I was playing and they both dropped, I would check the stats on it and take whichever was best. But my initial gut instinct would probably be to take the bolt action at those levels. But. Quote 2566, I'm somewhat of an expert when it comes to glands. Ah, uh, yes, the outer worlds. Slaver. Uh, if they have a good pawn, we actually have some silver and we have another pawn to sell. So. So that's nice. We're looking for a social and crafting. Or even just social right now and then a, a different crafting pawn would be good. Alright. Um, so we could actually get Either of these. Gourmand body modder. No thanks. Fast walker. Jealous doesn't matter as long as we're using... And there's good crafting. As long as we're using a barracks, jealous doesn't matter. Misandrus is kind of whatever. Um, good crafting. We could take them and then get the next social pawn. Transport pawn. Let me check that and see. Join us, cost. We don't have enough money for this one. Man. Not good anyway. A beautiful cannibal. Good social. Slightly hypersensitive. Uh, zero child spy. Um, probably not going to. Space refugee gourmand jogger. No. Alright. Alright, we'll wait. Did I like the outer worlds? I did. I did like outer worlds, yeah. Actually, if you want to be sniping the max range. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, yeah. Welcome back. Your steadfast different for each weapon is quality. Kind of have to check, yeah. Yeah, I would always check if you have the... Uh... I'm okay with this. Um, You know what? I'm going to start doing this. Make time again times four. Do forever. There we go. Anyway, I, I would always check if you get both to drop, you know. Another transport pod. Holy crap. She's already up. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Go back and play DLC. Yeah, I haven't either. And Dino, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Dino. For two months. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I liked Outer Worlds. It was good. I know some people don't, obviously, but. Uh, do I need to go? No, we're fine. We're fine. Good money walking off the map. Yeah. It's always funny when they crash and just get up. I'm like, nope. I'm good. Honestly. Okay, so we'll do this as the barracks. We'll do this as the work area. Yeah, I'll just build around the tree again. That's a third pawn. Uh we never did keep a third pawn, no. I've just been killing them. We had refugees for a while, but. Oh, this travel research. Travel research, take a while. Soon we'll have that person. Mm 
but they're just gonna be a trade mule basically yeah we actually had a lot of what's social fight bert insulted my clothes oh, screw you bert yeah see what happens bert you talk crap god please don't have okay he's fine he's fine it's like have i killed bert <laughs> hopefully i didn't rip off his leg but i told you it's a toque it's a beanie punch him in the face drives you a charge rifle seems the hunter is getting that so the bullet axe <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's nice that one's a little bit better you don't have to worry about you probably don't have to worry about looking up the stats between a charge rifle and a great bow honestly Ugh. I'm not sure what I'm going to do before that run tomorrow. I might just screw around on a new save file instead of playing on this one. Gets the structures being nearby, not too bad. It, it caps out at 30% kegs. And the space on it is huge. Right? So to make it not, you would have to not build in any of this giant red ring. But it caps at 30%, so. So I, I find it better to keep it safe and to keep our people safe. You've been rebranded. That's BMO. <laughs> Tuies. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, they did change it in 1.3 to also make the grass growth reduce by a cap of 30%. You could offset it with some nature shrines or some anima stones, but we don't have any of those right now. Fleming the Desperate. Hey, speaking of refugees, let's go. Let's get him. Just one this time. Depressive lazy. Here, research. Research. Set raids out of your transhumanist stuff. Uh, I mean, you can just, it depends. <laughs> so basically for insects to spawn, you need an overhead mountain tile. So the dark green overhead mountain, um, within like 30 tiles of player owned something like structure. And it has to be above, uh, what is it? Negative 17 Celsius for them to spawn. So that's all you can really do. If you're under the mountain, though, if you're playing under the mountain, the only way to not have bug spawn is to turn them off. If you're doing like a mountain base. If that's what you mean. Or are you talking about something else? Let me know. I might be completely off. Yeah, I, I named my refugees Yes No Baby a lot, yeah, as you, I'm sure know. You could refrigerate it. Yeah, bugs need the temperature to be above, I think it's negative 17 Celsius, if I remember right. So you can freeze a red mountain and bugs won't spawn. In fact, we had a playthrough a couple years ago where we did a mountain base and we froze the entire mountain base. We had everyone, we had the mountain base at like negative 40. We had everyone in like heavy fur uh, parkas and stuff like that. They still got slept in the cold. We did our growing outside of the mountain and it made bugs not spawn. No, he's calling for help. Will you help him? <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, two star Bucky, are you just godly? Sorry, Bucky. It's been Hawk. Thanks for using Celsius. I'm using both. Yeah, but no problem. Oh, you mean when I was talking about the temperature? Yeah. No problem. No problem. Um, how long on this? I know it's gotta be getting close. A generous bestowal. Turtles and chill. Davy. Let's talk and just play the game. Oh god, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna say the rest of that comment that they posted. So crazy. Growing season is already over. 
crazy. What's going, Davy? People are crazy, man. I, I bet you're like, he tells me to make YouTube content, but then I see these comments he gets on there. I don't want to deal with this crap. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's do it. You woke up Reddit and started your day off immediately, Violet. What is going on with those people? You need, you need psychiatric help. Colonists get sent off to work for another colony and just never come back. I've not had that happen, no. There used to be, I don't know if you can still do it. There used to be a bug that if you sent a colonist off with like an ailment, sometimes they'd come back with it healed. Or uh, like if you had someone dying of Luciferium addiction, you could send them off on one of those and they'd come back with Luciferium in their inventory. I don't know if that's still the case. Our modest fellowship expands. Boring. Raise this up. Um, uh, Micro. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Micro. Micros. I'm going to butcher if I try to say the whole thing, so I'm just going to stop. Thank you, Micro. This should be highlighted on your channel. <laughs> I should make a video that just shows all these stupid comments. If you're only fans, maybe. That's what I was wondering, yeah. <laughs> micro Psy or Micropsy, yeah. That's when I when I started saying the second one, I was like, it's probably micro side. That's why I stopped. Come on, guy. Almost there. Sai, got you. Thank you. All right, we're gonna have to keep this warm here soon. I'm just gonna reinstall these. Oh, that's why I had that built. Completely forgot about that. It's going Svedriol. <laughs> Love to see a 2021 edition. The crappy YouTube comments. I might start taking more screenshots and do something like that. It's just... God, some of those I just laugh because it's like... Absolutely just... Crazy. Just ridiculous. Oh crap, he has frostbite, right? If we're gonna want him to... to go trade for us, I need to move this. He's fine. He's doing to get them. <laughs> yeah. The main thing is like, wake up Thanksgiving morning and, I, and that's the first thing I see. I have a notification on my phone. I'm like, I'm going to check this. It's probably going to be my mom telling me how, how close she is. You know, she's on her way to visit right now. So have a notification. I need to turn off notifications from YouTube is what I need to do. So I wake up, I look at my phone and then that's what I see. And I'm like, huh. It's going to best. Welcome in. I'm not going to say the comment on here, but if anyone wants to see the screenshots in Discord, it's also on Twitter. So crazy. I don't even know, man. So crazy. Should build anything at 400 hours? Mad Elk. Uh, he had 80 raiders versus two mech clusters versus 60 insects. Fight the winner. We had that happen once um, in the transhumanist run. I won't spoil it, but we had something like that happen. Should be coming up pretty soon. Oh, there's two of them. All right. We'll just use the, stra the traps. Oh, Bert, I never gave you your gun back. Someone took it. Oh, that was way more traps than I wanted them to do. Oh, well. Kind of only fans. I'm telling you, actually, should only fans want. It's incredible how entitled some people. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I just can't understand it. That's one of the craziest comments I've ever gotten. Betrayal offer for seven plasteel. <laughs> no, um, I think I'll rather them uh, keep researching things. All right, do we have enough to do this? No, I didn't think so. 
And it's on like a, a blind playthrough of a horror game that we did in October where the entire point of that of that event is to play through blindly for the first time while like interacting with chat and having fun, you know? Why don't you play the game? Stop talking to people. I guess just a lot of, uh, or some crazy people on YouTube just don't understand the point of like a stream. I don't know. Yeah, don't forget the random H's and apply. Potato to get, um, they want us to do a, that's, that would be pretty awesome. They want us to do a highlight of everyone's, um, turn. So hopefully they'll get something like that as well. Ugh. Allergy sectant. Once having fun. Apparently my having fun was not the kind of fun they wanted. Your fun is different than my fun. Playthrough with no comment. That's what I told them, yeah. Or that's what I said. I was like, if you want a playthrough with no commentary, Literally, there's there's a no commentary playthrough for like every game. Just search for no commentary. Done. It's the stream for God's sakes. You're a streamer. You're not allowed to have fun. Maybe I don't know how to fu have fun. Which is the button? Welcome to crap. This side. Expect you to endure. You down? I don't know which button it is. Yay. I have so many buttons. Hey everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? All aboard the hype train. They didn't like that I was talking, and they didn't like that I was exploring. They had a real problem with me exploring the, the map. Because apparently exploring and looking at the map in the beginning when I went outside and I was like looking at the, uh, at the base and whatnot, and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Look at the scenery. Well, I like how they did this. That's not allowed. You have to go from point A to point B, quest to quest or whatever, story point to story point only. Do not look at any lore, read any pages, look at the base, look at the scenery, don't do it. We're gonna have to cut that ear off. We got this, Bert. Do all out of bounds skips. Three minutes of base planning at the start of every game. Yeah, they would. <laughs> That's right. Man, if I had if I had to play only the way that, like a combination of what everyone liked. Oh, it's not possible first off. Oh no, <laughs> Bert. Well, the the ear is gone. So that worked out. Nice. Let's watch Bob play a game. I mean, if you want to watch things with no commentary, by all means, but that's not what the channel is, right? Some more medical XP. Failed successfully. Loving you too much. Just changed the style completely. What's interesting too, and this is not a negative comment that was left, but I get a comment like this a lot on YouTube. Where people are like, you know, your channel would do so much better if you would edit your RimWorld videos down and only show the interesting moments. Back. Your well, what, what's kind of interesting about that is literally within the same minute, I got a comment on another video that was like, thank you for not editing out everything. I actually like seeing how things come together and watching the whole playthrough and hearing the conversation. And most channels don't do that. So I'm glad it's... Uh, it just shows that you absolutely cannot make a channel for everyone, and that's okay. You don't need to. Cat looks around the environment in a game. is probably the same kind of person that leaves corners off of buildings. A maniac. <laughs> How's it going, Stipples? Trevor, 26 months. Thank you, Trevor. It's been a while. Thank you, Trevor. It's a long time, man. Read the second comment. Yeah, it's like, there's already... That would be a different channel. There's already, there's already a ton of channels like that. You want that? It's there for it. Go find it. Cargo pods. 179 silver. Interesting. 
Hmm. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and put this in a zone up here. The next time we have a trader, we can just uh, we can trade that without having to go up to it. But we're not playing the game, editing the game, multiple acceptable versions. <laughs> so I'm having a breakdown right now. I am the cook though. If I get over it really soon, that's I think my first breakdown. Um, we have two higher expectations because of our leader role. Second drone's really the one that's uh, that caused the issues though. What, this? Oh, that's fine. No one cares about that one. That'll never be built. What does proselytizer do? Proselytizer's big benefit is that it increases the rate that you convert people. So that's a really big one. So they like to spread their ideology. And uh, so you get a bonus to percentage on that. I think our bonus percentage right now is something like 700% since we only have two people. Uh, let's make a couple of meals, please. enough for now. Draw all the non-highlights and house feed watch non-events. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. No interest in doing that at all. When you made YouTube and a guy who was literally bullying you saying, you must play Diablo 3. You have so many viewers. Sorry to insult you because you said you stream for fun. Crazy people. Fan of Supercut YouTube videos where Talking Heads seemingly attacks from different angles. Skips around, yeah. <sighs> Alright. We gotta get those traps back up. That's pretty important because that's our main defense right now. RIVG is leaving. Crap. I guess that's fine. They got some research done for us while they were here, but I really uh, expect them to stay longer. Whoops. And I don't have super warm clothes for this guy when he gets up. So we want them to join so they can go trade off the stuff, but... Hmm. Don't know. Like and demand one change to you. That's what I'm saying. And I've said that there was someone, and again, I wasn't meaning it in a negative way, but someone commented on a, on one of the Rimworld videos like 10 episodes in, they were like, it's so frustrating watching you play. You'll forget, you'll forget to build a, a conduit in one space for like an hour because you're talking to your stream and it's just super frustrating. And I said, then go find someone else to watch. That's all I said. And then they replied to that and they're like, wow, that's really hostile. And I was like, how's that hostile? Literally, if you don't like how I play, if it's super frustrating, go do something that's not frustrating. That's all I mean. Like, seriously, it doesn't bother me any. Go find somewhere you like. There's so many people that are putting out content. Go find someone else. Super frustrating to watch you play. It's like, <laughs> Or go play it, yeah. Uh, we need to get the advanced research down so we can get trade up. I'll go ahead and set something up in the meantime that we'll need in the long run. We probably won't need air conditioning on this mat. Let's get a um, like a temperature changer. Uh, I will get turrets. We're gonna need that for sappers for the conflicts. <laughs> it's so weird that that's how they replied and I was like, well, go watch someone else if it's frustrating. Whoa. Why are you being so hostile? Apparently that's hostile. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know. And I didn't mean it in that sort of way. Like, literally. If you're not having fun at the channel, find another one that you have fun at. I'm sorry you don't like it. but <laughs> That's their kink, maybe. Find that you're not happy there and then blame the place. Yeah. yeah. And Muffalo. Uh, I do not... We only have one trap, so... Where's the Muffalo coming from? Hopefully across the river. Okay. You don't build that conduit, I'm leaving forever. Goodbye forever. Oh, nice shooting. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's like, Wheezy. Yeah. <laughs> you for, you're so used to watching it on YouTube, you forget it's live. Yeah. It's really hard to explain to you, and I'm okay with it, but it's really hard to explain to people that have never streamed, and especially haven't streamed for like um, a long time, that when you're streaming, like for me anyway, like 80% of my brain is on the stream. And I don't necessarily just mean the chat. Obviously I'm trying to read chat and keep up on that. But like constantly my brain is just thinking about the stream and like, all right, I haven't said anything in, in a couple minutes. I need to say something. What's something interesting? Oh, I need to tell what I'm doing. I need to do this while tr trying to play the game at a high level. And so it's much easier to make those mistakes while streaming, no matter what I'm playing. So those people, they're like, I cannot believe you missed that. It's like, all right, well, go go stream for like a thousand hours and tell me it was that you didn't miss anything, you know, while talking the whole time. But uh, you get that a lot where people just don't understand. They're like, how is it possible to do that you did this? And I'm like, Cause I'm, I'm streaming. I'm not just playing the game. I play much better when I'm not streaming. Yeah, I know. We're not going to get our shooting up. We're hitting so well, yeah. Tampons can be gym. Super frustrating. Some people make mistakes on purpose and then ignore it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, like I'm saying, we're just talking about it right now. The same, this also happens when I talk about stuff like this. Then I'll get people that are like, you shouldn't talk about that. It's, it's one of those weird things where it's like, you're not supposed to reply to any comments. You're not supposed to talk about any comments. You're not supposed to do this. It's like, whatever, I'll do what I want. All right, trade mule. If you make it, awesome. If you don't, sucks for you. Just a duster, huh? This is working out okay, yeah. Just shoot your house, yeah. And streaming, no pause, stuff gets crazy. Spam pause, your mouse control. So like three-year-old with no fingers. So. I'm gonna just send them. If they die, then we still get rid of wealth, right? So, um, I'm just gonna send them and good luck, trade mule. Good luck. He has a bad back also. Oh no. It's fine. He is so dead. He's 100% dead. Uh, hang on. <laughs> so dead. So dead. Uh. Eight hundred. Oh, I. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna send him out, and immediately we're gonna get a bolt goods trader. That's what's gonna happen. Uh. Let's just go with a 500 for now. See ya. <laughs> Need to be heard online, so we real alive. Yeah. Yeah, there's just some crazy people, yeah. And now, honestly, like 99% of the people that watch uh, aren't like that. So it's the, it's the loud minority that are like that. And sometimes it's just annoying. Sometimes I just laugh at it, but. Thank you, Sam. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Attention's welcome in. I'm pretty well thinking stream we can do. Yawn on stream. Uh, You know what? Here, here's what we'll do. We haven't done one of these in a long time. You guys want to wager some channel points? All right, let's do it. Let's see here. Did you stop? Why did they move it? Get out of here. Here we go. <laughs> Freaking exotic. Here you go. 
So we're gonna vote, not vote, you're gonna wager your channel points. So this is a way to double up if you want. You can wager your channel points uh, on this to, to see if Mule will come back or not. You're gonna have uh, two minutes to do it. So will Mule actually make it through the entire trade alive? All right, there you go. Uh, it should pop up in chat. If you don't see it, you can click on your channel points. And you, at first, it'll default to 10 points, but you can wager more by clicking on 10. You might freeze to death. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. Maximum level reach. So that is set up. Um, but you can click on the 10 to wager more, and you can double up here and maybe get your name in the game faster. He's now on the map. Now, just to be perfectly honest, it is the middle of winter, and he has a bad back. Uh, click on your channel points down below chat if you don't see the pop-up on chat. All right. Will Mule make it? He's traveling for three days there. And uh, this is if he will make it back home, by the way. There and back. Three days there, three days back. By himself, bad back, in the colds. <laughs> yeah, there's a wager custom, yeah. If you don't want to just click the 10. Yeah, I think clicking 10 only makes it go up by 10 or something, right? I could go ahead and grab a telescope. Low shield packs are just saviors. I'm going to buy one. And we need to buy as many components as we can with the rest of our money. Lowering wealth plus buying components. Nice. All right, equip that shield pack. Welcome back. Uh, Versakill, thank you for the tier 3 Versakill. Six months, man. Tier 3 is... There's not a lot of tier 3 subs in the years I've been doing this. Thank you, Versakill. Much love to Versakill. And, uh, Hitro, thank you for the five months. Thank you, Hitro. Go, Mule, go. Let's take a look at Mule. Wait, is the voting over? I don't want to... I don't want to spoil if he's already getting frostbite. Are there fences in the top? Can I explain the reason? Yeah, there is a clip for it, but I'll go over it really quick. So I'll go over it in detail. So basically in RimWorld, if an enemy or anyone walks over an object like this, let, let's say someone is moving, I'll make this into a tunnel. All right, someone, a raider, whatever, is walking down this tunnel, right? If they, as soon as they hit this chunk, it slows them down. It reduces their movement speed. However, if there is another object here like there is, as soon as they hit that second thing, they'll go up to normal movement speed for the remainder of the crossing. So you want to put blockages every other spot, not every spot, to slow them down. Now, the other thing to note about RimWorld, or one thing in this scenario, is that pawns will try, including enemies, will try to take the fastest way to somewhere that they're going, right? And so they will choose, the enemies will choose not to go over these uh, fences, and instead they'll walk over the traps. The reason I choose fences usually is because it's very little material, very fast to make, very low wealth. One material. We had um, we had some trader or whatever leave us a, like 11 uranium early game. So I just put it into fencing. So the fencing is here to force raiders to walk over the traps. And that's the reason they do walk over it. Submissions are closed. All right. Let's check out Mule here. Guys, he does not have any hypothermia yet. Yep, no problem. Do that 2.5 payout. The bad back is there. They have five days of food. They still have two and a half days to get there, basically, and then three days home. Ooh. Think he's gonna be fine. What is his gear? It's whatever the crap was laying around. He has a lizard skin duster. It's excellent quality, though. Some sheep wool pants. Uh, a mega sloth wool button down shirt, not too, and a toque. He's probably gonna make it as far as that goes. I did not give him enough food, that's true. But you know what? He might get some food while he's there. Come on, mule, let's go. <laughs> he's wearing wool and a toque. He's got it. You already would have been. It's a beanie. <laughs> Hope you can see Mule come back. <laughs> My channel points, it was rigged. I didn't know what he was wearing. I did not check. He got recruited and immediately just put on random crap in here and took off. So, 
I, I thought he was gonna die. He might. You put 27,000 on no. Ooh. All right, we need to get these traps done. And we gotta get our uh, advanced research set up so we can get trade with ships going. So, um, which way do I want to do the barracks? Because I could just go ahead and do the advanced um, research in here. And then I can extend the barracks out this way or that way when we do the triple. I'll probably do that. Yeah, that'll be okay. No overhead mountain, I hope. I thought that was, uh, set. Whoops. Here, Bert. Research something else uh, while we wait. He thought it was be, oh, I don't know. He might die. He could get ambushed. We don't know. It's a gambling stream now, yeah. Him getting raided. He has no weapon. <laughs> if he gets ambushed by anything, he's dead. We're playing against Randy, so there's no cooldown on that sort of thing. But he is by himself, so his visibility is low. There's a lot of factors playing into this right now. If you fill overhead mountain with walls, they bugs cannot spawn. Yeah. They will not spawn if you fill it with walls. Welcome back. Your steadfast Halfway there, guys. Is greatly appreciated. I don't know. I'm actually on the fence. If I were going to vote whether he would survive or not, I would probably have voted for no, honestly. And the main reason is because I didn't give him enough food. I gave him about 80% of the food that he needs. You're gonna give him 10 subs if he dies? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty 50-50, honestly. That's what I was kind of thinking. If he gets a breakdown, he's probably dead. If he gets food poisoning, he's probably dead. If he gets attacked, he's probably dead. If none of those three things happens, he's probably fine. Oh, if I make sure he dies. <laughs> if I literally go kill him. I'm probably not gonna do that. That would that would ruin, ruin the, the good standing of our ga gambling establishment here. Yeah, yeah. I really don't know. I would have probably voted that he would die, honestly. If I had to choose something, I would probably say he was going to die. If he comes back alive, kill him. I will probably kill him if he comes back alive, yeah, because I don't want him. Can't you just run off the map you get attacked? Uh, no, not on those temporary maps. You can on like um, uh, attack maps, like if you're attacking a settlement or whatever, or even like a temporary settlement, uh, you can run to the edge and then you can't re-enter that map for 24 hours, but ambushes you can't just run off. If you kill him, I would lose all my points and yet I would respect your capitalism based decision. <laughs> uh, how much food does he have left? He only has two simple meals and a bunch of raw rice. Look at Sandra, he would have voted no in a heartbeat. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess we will go ahead and put this over to granite instead. Uh, let's just go to 100. There we go. Uh, we'll still leave it 200, actually. Do a sad wonder. He might. Yeah, if he breaks down, he's probably dead. Because he's going to run himself out of food. Probably. Hypothermia. Oh, he's getting hypothermia! Uh-oh. He's got serious hypothermia. No, he's so close! It's just for the night. Come on, mule. He's down. Oh, come on. It's only on his little toe. He's fine. He's going to survive the night. He's going to be okay. He's just going to lose his toe. That's not important. 
<laughs> we need to do this more often. <laughs> oh, he's so close to getting there, too. If only had a bedroll. I could have made him a bedroll out of human leather. Welcome back. I dev moded him down Your so quick. <laughs> loyalty is greatly appreciated. Uh, come on, guy. Uh-oh. It's spreading. It's extreme. A meteor of silver ore. Bard, 34 months. That's almost one entire calendar year. That's right. Thank you, Bard. It's a long time, man. Toe is move speed. That's true. It's true. Uh-oh. Wait, he's not dead yet. Wood. <laughs> Wood thing for the 10 gift subs. It's daytime. Get up. He's dead, guys. I'm pretty sure. Crap. If he gets up, he might make it. If he gets up, he can self ten and he might make it. Wood, thank you for the gift subs. Very much appreciated. Come on, trade mule. <laughs> He's probably dead, yeah. Come on, mule, you got this. How cold is it on that map? <laughs> All right, the hypothermia got him. The toque. Will mule make it back alive? 42%, oh my God, 179,000 channel points just gone. Gone from you guys. He didn't even make it to the trade place. The answer is no. There's your payout. Oh. That's all right. If you lost the gamble, what you do next time is you just wager even more to make up for it. That's what you do with the uh, with gambling. So you're not going to lose twice in a row, right? Right? There's no gambler's fallacy. <laughs> but if your kids are having toast tonight. Oh no. Wait, we just had a recent loss, so this raid's gonna be smaller than it would have been. Ha! <laughs> Three. <laughs> it's all EMPs! We're gonna get free EMP! Nice. Nice. I don't know why these raids are in the game. They're very rare, but you can get raided by EMPs and smoke launchers. It's statistically impossible to lose twice in a row. Twice in a row is one and two. So you have luck on your side. Gambling. Thanks for killing him. No problem, yeah. I had to dev mode that really, really fast, as mentioned. We're just gonna get a free EMP grenade off this. I think it's time for us to do some more rituals. We'll probably need wood. Alright. I uh, will wait till they're closer, as no. An early raid with two EMP grenades and one had a heart attack on the way to your face. <laughs> it's gonna help. Trick Sokka in. Man, when was that? I, I feel like not long after uh, Royalty came out, we had the um, uh, the Stellar or whoever it was that was doing a ceremony. We had them have a heart attack while they were there. A prediction on who will win this raid. If we, if we lose this raid, something is very wrong. Very, very wrong. Integrating raids get wrong mod into vanilla. It feels like it, yeah, when this happens. Free medicine too. Nice. 
Yes. And food. <laughs> it's just the memes. Two more predictions. You need to feed your game like addiction. I'll do some more, yeah. Oh no. Gambles on angry YouTube comments. Well, that, that'd be an easy one for you guys. Oh, this one could be a new trade mule. Fast walker. Crafting. No social again. Here we go, guys. We're going to make us a new mule. If they survive. If they survive. Fast walker might be no frost, but winter is uh, winter's coming to a close here pretty quickly. So, I be careful. We got to feed this person through the winter. You lose even more points. I'd get max and give you some EMP grenades. Yeah, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps. All right, um, I might actually just sacrifice this one instead. Once they're able to walk, we'll see. I'll think about it. We actually do need to, um, get a real colonist sometime. Uh, what else do we have? Um, are these back up? Yeah, we can do some of these uh, if we have enough wood. So let's go ahead and allow for this to be fueled. And do we have some trees nearby now? Really should have grown some trees last year. We even talked about it, but I just didn't do it. All right, we'll do that and then we'll, uh, we'll get this built. A vigorous Galvarino. I, can't believe, I really thought Mule would make it there. I almost put the prediction of will Mule make it to the trade site? And I was like, of course they'll make it to the trade site, but they're not making it back home. So that's why I set it to that. But man, that would have been a lot closer if I had set it to just, will he make it to the trade site? But, and now we have Pemmican too. So the next person that we send is probably Golden. thought it was a great question. You greatly appreciate the points. <laughs> Alright. 76%. Let's go for it. You know what? P-Music needs to make some music for these kind of things. I bet P-Music could come up with a absolutely killer uh, hand drum track for this that'd be really cool yeah hey we got the auto join co i haven't seen that name i don't think cable social slow poke shooting skill so we melee blocker yeah, I don't want them though no I'm being pretty particular about the third pawn I don't like slow walker either I get all my sacrifices out of my system since I'm not allowed to do it tomorrow during the, the charity event you know should be melee blocking some bullets right now yeah uh after the dead Temporary worker again. No. After they're dead, we'll do another drum circle. No, there's certain rules for it. Oh, Christ. Oh, God. <laughs> there's certain rules for it. Like, I'm not allowed to sacrifice people. Not allowed to steal organs. Have to be charitable. Stuff like that. 
Wow. Just brutal. They're probably gonna be okay. We shot them and left them for the wolves. Should probably kill that wolf <laughs> before it hunts someone important. Yeah, no war crimes during the charity event for Doctors Without Borders. It is interesting. Yeah, I, I thought about that too. Um, they've done it before, obviously, but it is kind of a odd game for that charity in general, right? I'm glad they're doing it, of course, but it's it's always been kind of odd to me. It's like it's definitely a interesting pick. Wolf's pretty. Yeah, but it can kill us. Missed that one. Animal's so tasty. Come on. Why? why okay, whatever. If it comes back, we'll kill it. It's the only game to do it yet. Yep. When's the charity stream? My portion is tomorrow at noon Eastern. So 12 to 3 p.m. Eastern time is my slot tomorrow. And um, for the first hour, I'll be on the front page of Twitch as well, which is kind of crazy. Hmm. No one in on this planet is good for at social. I think we've seen one good social person. Again, the wolf has plot armor. <laughs> oh, I went out. We get invaded tomorrow, yeah. Very, very probable. Psyche yeah. Soothe. Do it. Oh, we got it again. Come on, Yana, be good. Yana, Yana. Another pyro. Not capable. Slow learner pyro. It's like they're not even trying to live, you know? It's like they don't even want to survive. They're not even trying. This is kind of crazy. For anyone that doesn't know, the charity event is going on right now. So um, if you want to check that out occasionally, definitely do that. Or if you want to watch it instead of this, obviously it's for a good cause. Or have both up, which would be excellent. You could leave a lurk over there uh, and help their viewership out. Okay. Yeah, and it's got a gun. <laughs> All right. Here we go. It'd be more fun if the hot potato thing was more like a competition. I don't know how they would do that. Yeah, that would be interesting though. Oh, Jesus. Crap. So that kind of sucks because uh, we will get witnessed allies death. So uh, we should let these. <laughs> uh. No, I'm going to do another one. I was gonna say, I, I should let these debuffs fall off before I do another one, but we don't have the wood to wait. Hey, visitors. Oh, there's so many of you. I was really thinking about attacking them, but... All right, let's do the other one. Screw it. What are the odds we get three auto joins in a row, right? Right? Basically zero percent. Not really, but the reverse psychology did not work there. And I really need the Outlanders to visit us. We're just keeping these tribals. Mm -hmm. 
stupid tribals. I mean, we're tribal too, but we're better than them for some reason. Send your four rituals to the first every month. Yeah, I, I think like optimum would probably be to do one to spread them out equally. So you always, always, if it goes well, you're, you're gonna have the chance to always have the positive mood buff throughout too, you know? I, I usually end up stacking them like this. Seven people, nothing but herbal medicine and pemmican yet. Hey, that wolf came back. How many Ibexes? Three. Here, go after them. I don't have traps for this. Get him. using these, but... Pemmican better than hardtack? Hardtack. I saw some of that in it recently. Mule died yet. Checked out the current hot potato. You like this better? Well, thank you. Thanks. It's been a long time since we had like a little... A little bitty colony like this. Worry about happy pawns, miss them. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean the actual, like, um, there's a certain time. Oh, we have no traps. Were they attacking immediately? No. Uh, the certain time of year. I don't like doing that one, but I meant, like, trying to spread them out when you use them. Tough, careful shooter. Okay. Greedy brawler. Fast walker. All right. I think we're gonna have to fight them out. Is there better than my cruelty? Is this Africa? Uh, not quite. Close though. It's also pretty similar to like South America. <laughs> pretty close. We're not gonna get a granite trap up in time. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna go fight them coming across the river. I think. Let's go. Argentina. Yeah see that. Where's Chile? Yeah, I don't like the ones on the calendars either. Yeah, I usually choose not to have it that way. Too bad Burden's not working. It's gonna take a lot to drag me away from it. That's right. I miss the rains. Which one is the tough one? I need to attack that one last. Uh, so we need to probably kill Mia first because she's fast. So Tasia, Tasia, Tysa. Come on. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Uh, hey, thank you for the five months, P. Much appreciated. Someone's a real snack. Come on, guys. Thought you were about to. About ready. Our mood's really good right now, so. That going for us. Let's go, Jin. Welcome in. All right, here they come. Here's the fast walker. Get her. Burden isn't working right now, or else it'd be fantastic use. I guess it's bugged with the. Uh, Rocket Man mod. Take her down. Good job. No, ignore the tough one. Hit the other one. Nice. GG. See ya. You know what? I'm probably just gonna let that all come to think of it. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. 
so we did all these so i can go ahead and toggle that off and now the next goal is to get the advanced research up what do we need we need some more steel grab a little from this not so tough now are you that's right they are not Bert. I kind of like these small bases like this and keeping things like our our last few completed runs have been these just monstrous high wealth like 60 pawn 2 million wealth kind of bases there's something kind of fun about just a couple people low wealth and uh you know like hiding across rivers to kill a couple other enemies or whatever You want to see the prisoner's stats? Uh, they're a fast walker at Night Owl Nudist who's good at crafting and mining. 18 years old. Lots of gunshot wounds. How'd that happen? I think I want to sacrifice them. How much steel are we at? 230. Close. You know, Nudist him. Getting cozy on the rim with a couple friends. War crimes and chill. Pod, do you think you could do the ship launch with? I I think you can do a ship launch with just one person, yeah. I think you can do it with just one. A few monks in the mountains with their ideology. Uh, the wolf is back. Alright, let's go do it. If you stay low wealth, I think you can do it with one. It's actually kind of crazy how raid points change when you start getting more colonists it's one of the biggest factors is just getting more colonists increases the difficulty of the game that's one reason why our raids are so small right now is it's there's just two of us as soon as we add a third person raids are going to go up probably more like eight or nine people but one person uh i mean if your wealth is really high you'll still have pretty decent sized raids but Keep your wealth low and have a single person. I think you can do it. It's new to be not alive, especially if they're your enemies. But I remember the very first run we tested out with ideology on. I turned on a bunch of like naked tribes just to see, and uh, it was it was just a slaughter. And because naked tribes have such like no gear score, really, there was tons of them, but it was just carnage, just like. I, I can't remember. Like, the very first one was, like, 48 naked people showed up. Let's just gun them all down. It's like... It's easy to forget watching this on 500%. Yeah, yeah, that's one reason why I'm staying so low. Too many to eat, yeah. I might start expanding. But I want to get our trade set up first, which is slow because we're tribal naked brutality. All right, here we go. All right, Levi. It's ritual sacrifice time. I decided not to send you as a traitor because I need a new colonist. Oh, look, they're shooting at me with rifles from 500 meter distance. Let me go towards them. Terrible. There's another wolf. <laughs> Pretty good shots, actually. Your largest being sacrificed. <laughs> Worst ritual sacrifice ever. The blood didn't even reach the walls. <laughs> we demand more splatter next time. I think of a uh, comic book guy from The Simpsons. Worst ritual sacrifice ever. I'm stop for being kicked by radio fiber stuff. Hate the dog skull sound, yeah. Me too. Boring. Uh, did I miss a question? Let's see. 
Do you set up fake multiple bases? Do raids decrease on the main base? No. Each base has their own stand standalone wealth and uh, population curve, raids, all that stuff. Basically, each of your bases on a playthrough is like its own little miniature save file in a, in a way, right? So no. Uh, so for instance, if you're, if you play Cassandra, both bases will have their own raid setups also. So Cassandra can only attack basically two times within every 11 days, but she'll be able to do that at each colony. Good atmosphere, but too few blood and no food during the event. One out of five stars. So we will uh, we'll put Bert's on. We need to get transport pods to drop to make allies. And then we also need to make the um, comms console. I guess we can go ahead with the comms console. That way we can get some trade ships going. prison is too few blood correct uh we would probably say like too little blood or not enough blood so too few blood um yeah it, it doesn't it's not normally what people would say no english is your first language i knew what you meant though but what is your first language out of curiosity too little blood would probably be what most um native English speakers would say. Or well, not enough blood. German? Too little, not enough. So we'll get this um, done. We'll throw the, uh, the comms console in here. We'll go from there. Safeguarding a friend. 60 year old two met clusters at double size with triple star we don't we don't have like smoke launcher we don't have mortars this is absolute death absolute death <laughs> of course they're i mean they're pessimists i probably wouldn't take them anyway but social and crafting that's what we're looking for but that would be death five dollars buster uh jeremy thank you for the 500 bits that's Thanksgiving. It was good overall. Uh, it was hectic because my mom surprised me. Uh, we knew she was coming up, but she surprised me by bringing up some other family, but not telling me on purpose for it to be a surprise, which was good because I haven't seen those people in like 11 years. The downside was I was not expecting that many people. So we didn't have like enough chairs to have places set up. Uh, I didn't have places for everyone to stay set up. I didn't have enough food. So I ended up having to like scramble and do all that. So it was kind of a whirlwind day, but uh, it was still good overall, yeah. I'm gonna put that down to a hundred. Do this one too. News will have master equipment in the late game cause they're also subject to the 200 tribal raid score limit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I don't know if they would have best work. Yeah, that's a good question, but they would get limited Welcome by the back. raid cap, yeah. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. There's so many different ways to say the same crap in English. There are, yeah, and some of them just sound more natural than others, even though some of them, some of the things that you can say are technically correct, and people know what you mean, but it, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't feel right when you're saying it, and it's, it's a hard thing to, like, explain or teach in that sort of way. English is such a dumb language. Seven plasteel from that refugee. Uh, Ashley, they have the resub. 24 months, man. That's crazy. <laughs> Love the community. All the great content. Yeah, man, that's a long time. Thank you, Ashley. Hopefully your things went well as well. Is it just me or does Randy seem... I, I actually don't know the percentage on this. If anyone knows this percentage, 
Um, does Randy have a higher chance of dropping ship chunks? I always seem to get more ship chunks with Randy. Oh yeah, that's what I was offered to betray him as well. That's kind of interesting. Let's go and wrap. Uh, robot, welcome in. What's the best size for a room? It depends, yeah. So the thing about rooms is that one of the easiest ways to make a room more impressive is just make it larger. If you click on the little bar graph down there and you hover over it, you can see these different, uh, the different things here. So for instance, if you have a room that's over 350 open spaces, you'll get the maximum benefit out of it being uh, spacious. But yeah, it just depends. Uh, if I do bedrooms, I usually like to do the five by five open uh, to get a more spacious interior. And for normal rooms, I usually do 11 by 11 to get very spacious. Your Aussie friend could be incomprehensible if he wants to. We're gonna need a little bit more steel. To, uh, no, we're good actually. Mad Muffalo. back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. I made it pretty close. All right, tonight. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Well, hopefully it goes well. Uh, Yagi, thank you for the 10 months. Thank you, Yagi. This game, Auction Not Included, are different in a lot of ways. Is Auction Not Included oh, easier to play? Expands. Okay. Praise the sub. Robot, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Robot. Also much appreciated. And RJ, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, RJ. So the question is, do I think Auction Not Included is easier to play than this game? It is in some ways and not in others. In Auction Not Included, you do not have to worry about things like raids and enemies and whatnot. And the game is more flat and vertical based, right? So it's easier to kind of pay attention to everything. However, Auction Not Included has a lot of complexity with how things act towards each other scientifically. So lots of things with temperatures, pressure, you know, um, producing oxygen, uh, different gases and how they interact and stuff like that. So Oxygen Not Included is a com can be a very complex game and very complicated, but it's in a different sort of way than RimWorld's complexity. So they're both pretty difficult in their own, in their own different ways. Um, Auction Not Included is pretty accessible, though. It has lots of good tutorials in the game. There's obviously endless tutorials on YouTube and places like that. So you can always, instead of having to reinvent the wheel, like let's say you need you need a way to produce oxygen. You don't have to figure that out. People have been playing Auction Not Included for a couple years now. The most efficient ways to create oxygen in different environments has already been figured out. So you can literally just go copy what they've done, right? So it depends on how you like to play it. But in general, I'd say they're both difficult in different ways. Auction Not Included can be more forgiving in the early game, but if you get something like, if you start overheating your base or something like that, uh, which is very easy to do in that game, Heat Death was one of my, one of the ways that I died quite a bit when I first started playing it. It can be really tough to deal with. Like you, you just may not know what to do at all, but. Just off like yourself, yeah, yeah. Oh, how's it going, RJ? Thank you again. Shady, welcome in. Thank you, thank you. My wife has summoned Granny. Speaking about heat death, I was one time I was a kid and I got really afraid. I watched this science documentary and I, and I ran to my Granny and I said, Granny, I just learned about the heat death of the universe and entropy and why does anything matter? And does any is and she said, shh, shh. You must put more meat my mouth. That's a very random quote. <laughs> uh, it made me forget all about the heat death of the universe, so thank you, Granny. Never thought about it again. What a <laughs> random quote. Good talk, Granny. Thank you for that. Ugh. Alright, let's get this done. Let's get this done. Um... <laughs> So, I'm going to go ahead and pause Pemmican because we're spending a lot of time on it right now. Oh, it today. It's good, yeah. Auction Not Included is a really good game. Steal yourself. It really is. We are building an I actually want to go back to it, but... 
I gotta tell you, if you do decide to stream Oxygen Not Included, it is one of those games, for whatever reason, where, at least my experience, the community around that game really want to backseat, like, super badly. There's some games that are just like that. Like, you do something wrong or inefficient, they will backseat you to death. So, if you're going to stream it, I would say either get ready for that. If you're good with that, then awesome. Some people like super backseating, it's fine. Uh, but if not, you might want to make sure that rule is out there, or else you will get backseated to death. I've heard that about Kinshitsu. Jeremy, thank you for the five gift subs to Gap, to Agor, Elrond, Bex, and Coco the Freak. Coco the Freak, probably actually Conan O'Brien's account. Yeah. For real. Is Granny allowed in the charity stream? Uh, so, I'm going to have some things with Granny, or... At different price points, people can pay me to, to use them with my voices. And people can also pay me to turn them off. <laughs> or not me, but pay the charity. Undertale. I've heard that too. I have that problem if no one's watching though. That's, that's true. Alright, I need to get this done. I'm just going to force it. I'm just going to force it. Can you name animals and colonists? You can name uh, colonists in Oxygen Include. I don't know if they ever added for you to be able to name animals. There are animals um, in it, but I don't know if you can name those. You can't name the the colonists, though. Is there a reason why your entry is specifically into your research room? This? Uh, it was just a, a matter of just putting it where we already had something built. So this was the prison to start with, and... I just needed somewhere to put this to research really quickly. And the reason I chose here is in the long run, this is going to be our barracks. And this is probably not going to be the prison or anything. So I can turn this into research and hospital really easily later. And without a mod, you can't actually move the research bench, the, um, the high-tech research bench. So I mainly put it there because that's the least likely spot for us to have to move it later on or need to rebuild it. Or do you mean the other research, the normal ones? That one I can explain to you. Oh, uh, one sec. Uh, we're going to sell two of those EMP grenades that we got for free. The reason I put these in there is this was initially our only room, so they're just in there. But also, what I like to do is I like to leave the entrance open on the trap tunnel into our room with something that uh, enemies want to get in there and destroy, like table and chairs, for instance. So it, they're more enticed to come through there. And I don't want it to be connected to where food is because I like leaving that door open. And if I leave that door open, but this is where I store food, animals will come in and eat, wild people will come in and eat, that sort of thing. Hopefully oh, that makes sense. So it was li just literally our first room. So that's where it started. But then also I like to leave things that will aggro enemies to come through that way. Um, but animals and stuff won't try to come eat our food. Hopefully that makes sense. Oh, that scared me. I'm talking about drop pods earlier. Social, fast learner. Oh, I hate lazy. Oh, they're from the Empire. We want to save them. We're trying to get rep with them. Be slow to your prisoners. <laughs> Barricades are going to be a tiny kill box too. Yeah, yeah, I probably will do that. I plan on getting some chain shotguns. So I'll probably do uh, like some over here. Okay. So when she's able to walk enough, we'll send them packing. How long are we on the next rituals? 12 days. Uh, we can do this one now. Let's do it. Still thinking about switching over to um, nutrient paste. Oh, boring. God. Hmm. Oh, 
I might just have to take someone soon. We're gonna be in this rut for a long time. Perfection. Uh, how much herbal medicine do we have? Yeah. Where's the infection? In your arm? We can cut that off if we really have to. Stone traps take for friggin' ever. They give it a lot of experience though. Look at that, 14 construction already. I say already, it's two years in. Almost three. Hey, why don't you finish that one instead? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll wait until she's able to walk and then we'll release her. She has a parka, so thirty-two percent movement. All right, so barracks up here. I might even just do the two room barracks instead of the larger one if we're not gonna do a huge pawn count. Um, research and stuff here. And we'll probably expand out this way too. Yeah, that's fine. That would give us enough room to do defensive things over here. All right. So our next line of expansion, I was gonna go down around this way, but I don't think I'm going to. I'll get to our kill area up here. So once we get another pawn, I think I'll go ahead and expand this way. Don't need to yet, though. Don't think I'm going to worry about hallways between this time, either. Off with his arm. Maybe, maybe. So I'm traps have more value than wood. Uh, only half the damage. They actually do more damage than wood traps. They do have more value, but they have less value than the stones laying on the ground. And we just don't have a lot of wood on a tundra map. So as you can see, like there's to get some actual wood for traps. I need to go up here and they're still pretty sparse. Uh, but no, these traps actually do more damage than wood and more armor pierce. Let me look at the exact numbers. So wood, uh, 40 damage, 60% armor pin. So 40, 60. And these ones are 65 damage and 98% armor pin. So actually a pretty significant damage increase from 40 to 65 and then armor pin is a lot better. The, their only real downside is that it takes a long time to make them. Uh, but they're actually less raid points than if the blocks were just laying on the ground. Oh God, Bert. Bert just turned around during his research. Shot her. Bert, let's give you some light in there so your research goes a little bit faster. There you go. First, he did a 180 no scope, yeah. What in game? I don't know, yeah. I thought about traveling to the ship, but. Let's take a look here. Where is the ship? Oh, Lord. It's in an arid shrubland map. A mountainous arid shrubland. It could do that. Let's go on Ace. Welcome in. Going to Lurk. Playing some Factorio. Thank you for the Lurk. Should have cut off her arm, but it would have required medicine, so. That's going to be quite the journey if we do that, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. What happened to the mule? He, they died on route. But they did get rid of some uh, wealth in the meantime. Alright. Uh, let's go back to... What we were doing here. Actually. Yeah, it's fine. I know that's open right now, but it doesn't matter. The factory must grow. Mule succeeded in reducing wealth, increasing jail points. Yeah. Get crashed when you save the first time? Sucks. How long have you been working on Nyla? That's the worst. I don't know if Gimp auto backs up, but.
song is so good. It's so good. There's other stuff done. Like 40 minutes. So. Hopefully it auto backs up some somewhere. I've gotten in the habit when I'm making like thumbnails or anything like that, Nyla, to hit Control S after every action. I don't know if I don't know how slow GIMP is about saving, but I've started doing that in Photoshop. Like after every action, Control S. <laughs> like just, just a good habit to do, I guess. Doesn't look like it did. Uh, all right. So he should be working on this after he's done with the food. Got quite a bit of food though. So really need a good third pawn. The uh like I said, social and crafting is really our ideal next pawn. We had one of those if they had really bad um traits. So Alright, we're gonna get to comms console in here. Then we'll be able to get trade ships, which would be real nice. Have that done before we have the comms console. Uh, how much steel is the comms console? 120, I can remember. Okay. Uh, there is a red mountain there. Oh, I didn't realize we'd already dug into that portion. Let's go ahead and get the rest of the steel out of here. Oh, he's unhappy. Ready apparel, yeah, yeah. Sacrifano is your friend? Whoops. Well, that sucks. Uh, we need to fill this in. Do not want an infestation. This early in infestation probably only be like two hives, you know? But uh, I think like eight bu eight to 12 bugs would probably kill us, which is sad. So we'll, uh, we'll mine this last little bit of steel and we'll start filling this in. He's not good at mining. What, what have we gotten to? A three, I think we started out at one, possibly even a zero. All right, transport pods are done. Um, hmm. um what else do I want to knock out? We're definitely going to want shields, especially when we start getting mech clusters, we can start making our own low shields. But uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and research this stuff. Deep drilling it is. I saw it outside when there is only a few tiles overhead. Yep. Yeah, they'll spill out into the in the outside. They only need the tile for them to be allowed to spawn, but they can... Um, hives can actually be out and around here. Like this spot right here, if we were at max raid points, this spot would spawn, you know, whatever, like... 50 hives or something, and they would just be all over the place out here around it. I don't know what the the bottom raid point value is for a mech cluster, specifically. Yeah. We've had some pretty small uh, clusters. And it's hard to base it just on wealth, because not all wealth gives raid points equally, which is kind of a little bit of an annoying thing. It'd be kind of... There are mods that show it, and you can also use developer mode that'll actually show your raid points. But it'd be nice if it showed the raid points in the base game in those graphs. Um, but not all wealth is created equally. Not all wealth gives the same amount of raid points. All right, we need to close that in. So, for instance, structures give like half the rate point of the value of the stuff that's on the ground. There's multipliers of different things. Like it's, it's usually I kind of have those numbers in mind with how I play around what wealth things like that happen. But I don't know the one. Uh, I don't remember the one for clusters. Some wealth is more equal than other wealth. Are we on the animal farm.
Oops. Did that backwards. Okay. We'll get that done. How are we doing on this grass? 13. Almost growing season again. Wealth does uh, the types of them are they have their minimum raid point amount. So that's how those ones are done. So if you look at a certain kind of raid in the files, it'll say, you know, minimum points. So it's yeah, it's term by raid points, yeah. Chance reach type of large event based on the raid points, visible in dev mode, the button, the XML files. Oh, you're gonna check them that cluster one? Thank you. But yeah. There are minimums. The only thing that's completely just one-to-one -one tied to wealth in the game that is always the exact same wealth in that sort of regard is expectations, which is always a, an interesting one. Like, that the, most things in the game are not just completely breakpoint, but expectations are, and it's very, it's like exactly as soon as you get to that point. It's like 81,000 wealth, moderate expectations. You're at 80,999, People are a lot happier, and then as soon as you get one more wealth. Mech Cluster can spawn with as low as 400 raid points? Really? Uh-oh. Five people instead of three. All melee. That would have to be a very tiny cluster. One mini turret and a sleeping scyther. <laughs> Aww. Oh, it's like that one we got in that one playthrough. I don't remember which playthrough it was where I was like, it's a baby mech cluster. Yeah, we've had one of those. From the moment you get a dollar over a million, turn into a miserable prick. Yeah, that's how that works too. <laughs> Damaging furniture lowers your wealth. It actually lowers it pretty substantially. So I don't do it. I mean, I don't care how much cheese you use, but a really good way to do that, to hide wealth, is in art like that too. And there's some other ways as well. But you can make some like really valuable art and then punch it until it's and then don't have auto repair on or don't have it in the home zone, one of the two. And um, it will go down in value so much, but it will still give the same amount of uh, beauty. So they actually ended up changing the wall one. So they've reduced how many raid points walls are worth several times. And back in the day though, I can remember in 1.0 where people would literally turn off auto repair and they would punch all their walls inside like this down to like 10% just to get rid of wealth. That was back in Merciless, when Merciless was the hard one, hardest one. You can still do that to an extent. Hot Sally Ma, you might have to try that. Yeah, it lowers the raid points substantially, like crazy amount. So you can have like a golden grand statue or whatever and punch it down to where it's worth almost nothing and then uh, just make sure they don't repair it if you want to do that. I gotta move that. So Punch Merger doesn't lower wealth anymore unless you... Install it? No, it still does for some things. Yeah, we were talking about how they changed. They've changed it with like walls and some other stuff, like punching sculptures. Um, what do you have to do? Do you have to? Yeah, install buildings, stuff, furniture. Punch down art and uninstall it. Then it reduces, but then it's uninstalled, of course. Oh, that's what we were talking about uh, on Discord, right? Smurf about h literally hiding wealth until you need it. And then when you need the wealth, reinstall it and deconstruct it and get the stuff back. Yeah, yeah.
But if you're trying to hide wealth, you can punch things. But it's no longer, it no longer does it like just punching the walls like I was talking about. I don't know when that was patched, but last time I was seeing people doing that was like 1.0. I don't know if it was patched that long ago, but. But you can definitely hide wealth that way. Uh, and you can always just bring it out, repair it when a trade ship comes or a trader or whatever. There's other ways to hide wealth still too. You guys remember when you could hide wealth in drop pods? That was a long time ago. Or even further back. I think in Alpha, you could hide wealth. Wealth didn't count if it wasn't in, like, the home zone or something like that. God, there's been so many ways to hide wealth over the many dozens of patches over the years. Do it enough for uninstalling. Could offset that. Yeah. Pass with Psychopath. Hmm. We could try this again. Um, that one's actually gonna recruit pretty quickly, see. This one I'm just gonna kill. If this one survives, we will uh, mule them off and we'll do another vote. Unstall buildings, yeah. Minified buildings count as item wealth. So you can reduce the item wealth by damaging it as long as the auto repairs off so no one just... Oh, an auto join. Uh, socials of four, ascetic. No crafting. Careful shooter, I don't like either. Aesthetic, psychically dull are both good. 55. We are rivals. Any gambling on Cherry Stream? I don't know if they allow that. Probably not. How long until these are back up? Four days, five days. Okay. Eight days, 13 days. We still got a while. Oh no. I almost didn't change his name. Wouldn't that have been tragic? Well, gambling with channel points, yeah. Of course. Like we did it earlier on here. Psychic Soothe is nice. Alright, we gotta finish this. When's the next gamble? When something is. <laughs> when something is gambleable, I guess. Gambleable? Channel points, who did I send that 50 bucks to then? Spring. All right. We gotta get this done. Just a little bit more steel for that. Um, We got some down here. Probably should have taken that person earlier. But. Oh well. Uh, well. Remember during the Arco Nexus run, we had someone that was such a stupidly good shooter that it was faster for them to shoot rocks to mine than it was to mine it. <laughs> the minigun that was like a laser. Like, I think they had like 18 shooting, shooting specialist plus darkness or something. Crazy. Slot machine players them make themselves known, yeah. That was crazy. If you shoot rocks, it drops the full amount, as if you mind it. No, it doesn't seem to. No, it, it wasn't worth doing, but it was just funny. Watch them do it. 
All right, we can get trade ships. Nice. Nice. Okay. Mining also, yeah, yeah. But if you just need to dig out some space, yeah, just trigger happy with some frag grenades can do the job. It's really insane. The cooldown, oh man, he was like, uh, so the cooldown time was 1%, 1% or whatever, or, or whatever it's called, the charge up time. So like the sniper rifle usually takes a while to fire, but he was able to fire just instantly. Look at this, great memory, tough and kind. 49, also natural meditation. They only have a three in social plants and mining. It's pretty, they're pretty good though. They already have a scar, so we convert them to already be good. What does he want? Save some of it, take care of his pet Husky for 22 days. Paralytic Abasia, and we don't have any herbal medicine. They're actually pretty good. It was, it was true 360 MLG, no scope in action. Do it. Maybe not the tough part. <laughs> the rest sounds like you. Hmm. Can we keep it for 20, 22 days is crazy long time. That's actually going to be past the growing period. We don't have the... I don't think we can keep Paralytic Abasia at bay without the medicine. We could just attempt it anyway. And if it works out, it works out. And if it doesn't, uh, they'll be a little unhappy. All right, we'll try it. Um, make them an actual bed too. Here, boy, you want to sleep on a human leather bed? Is that what you want? Or not a beige, uh, blood rot. Right. No, wait, it has a beige. I was thinking blood rot. I actually don't think I've gotten a quest for a pet with a beige before. Only blood rot. So I had blood rot in my head, even though I was reading a beige. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking about, yeah. So, we'll just have to keep it fed. That's it, and we'll get a good pawn after that. So. I mean, we could technically use some medicine to get rid of Abasia, but uh, we don't need to. All right. Good stuff. That'll do, that'll do. All right. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> Too bad we have to give up the dog. Yeah, it would be nice. Uh, occasionally, this one's a male. But occasionally, they will send you an animal, even a, a single female that's already pregnant. We had that happen with some yaks once. Well, the majestic turkeys. Get some like David at some Attenborough to talk about the turkeys. Oh, that one almost got cooked. Uh, so we actually already got some fuel for this. We had a drop pod a long time ago. Drop some fuel off. So, see ya, turkeys. So we need a couple more spots of steel to finish this off. Just, just get it. Too soon. Too soon. Not allowed to make those jokes till next November. You know, I could go start a second settlement with one of these people that's decent, but that we don't want for this colony. So that they could have auto joins also. Did I see the PETA post about Thanksgiving turkeys? No, I didn't see one this year. 
Oh, wait. I think I did see it. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about the one where it was like a... Uh... It was shaped like a person. Laying on the dinner plate. With like their sides sliced open. Yeah, yeah, I saw that one, yeah. It's going, Harry, welcome in. The first thing I thought was like, man, if Rake saw this, he'd be like, delicious. Give me some of that. <laughs> Alright, let's get this done. Okay, let's make some allies. You thought of Rake's immediately as well? <laughs> make some allies uh who we got purple is almost our ally already so we just need 75 of them i think that's around 600 human leather i want to say let's see what 691 will get us it's gonna lower our uh our wealth substantially too Load it up. Baby carrots are dead. Exquisite. That turkey find this highly offensive. Turkeys are great pets to have because, you know, like, if you have a dog and your dog dies, that's, like, really sad. You have to bury your dog and you're very sad. But if the turkey dies, you just have a really good dinner afterwards, right? That's so cruel. It's so cruel. But also true. All right, let's see how much wealth this is. 71 close close sorry guys we're gonna have to load more <laughs> you just do that with your dog too oh my god <laughs> all right get those moved again have lobster dinner. Oh, the Simpsons did. Yeah. Uh, you know what? We don't need you anymore since we can drop pod now. So you're not guilty anymore, though. I'm just gonna let you go. Get out of here. Never eat your dog. Someone else's. On the other hand, no, I couldn't do that. Rex does that with his pets as well and his friends and family as well. I remember not long after Rex had been here in the early days, we were in the single digit numbers. He came in a few months later. He's like, he, he seemed genu genuinely excited. He was like, good news. I just found out there is a legal way that you can actually eat human meat here in Canada. I was like, who, what, why? <laughs> like, why have you... Like it turns out, if if you have like a family member who's having an amputation, they can sign some legal documents to allow you to take that amputated limb and eat it. And I'm like, holy Christ, why? Why did you look this up? He's like, I really would like to try human meat. It's like, guys, stay away from rakes. <laughs> stay away. You follow on YouTube? Uh, thank you. I, is that, is it? Is the DR doctor? Is it Drazzle? Um, thank you for watching over there. Yeah, that was a concerning uh, conversation for sure. And then I, I decided that I would, I would not ever visit Rikes as part of Canada, perhaps any part. <laughs> All right, um, we're gonna keep the heavy. Surely this will be enough. can't imagine having like a friend or something and you contact your friend you're like man you know that those pains i've been having well it turns out they're gonna have to take my foot they're gonna have to take my foot and the friend on the other end is like oh can i have it <laughs> can i eat that <laughs> Found me in an AOL chat room. Yeah, but back then I was a 17 year old girl from California, occasionally from Florida. Let's go on pineapple. 
Oh, do I got real? Baby carrot's dead. <laughs> Killed, actually, by Osquared. ASL. Uh, 17 female Florida. Sometimes I vacation for the summer in California. Yeah. All right. Is that is that good now? Bert, finish this, man. I gotta get rid of this wealth. This guy in Germany who wanted to be eaten and found a dude online that would eat him. I bet Rex is looking for things like that, man. Plus 78. There we go. Um. Should have known. All right, we have our first ally. So now we can call them in once we have like some more human leather and whatnot and we want to trade. Uh, we can also call them in to help us deal with things. So now we, with this low of raid points, we should be safe now with a call in for things like uh, sieges or um, met clusters or whatnot. So I really do like getting to that before. Are you guys still, oh, uh, they're almost gone, yeah. I like getting to those uh, trade and call in points before we get our wealth up. <laughs> Is there on faces of death where they ate a corpse? I don't know, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Crazy. I have no interest in that. Not at all. Rakes would absolutely confirm 100% if he was here. He is not shy about it at all. He's talked about it on stream multiple times, so he's like, I want to eat. Trading for Kim Fuel. No, we got Lucky and we got Kim Fuel um, Drop Pod as a gift. Yeah. So we will have to make our own uh, eventually, but. Got pretty fortunate there. How long until we can do this? Seven days on that one. Okay, the drum ones are ready again. So we have enough wood. We'll go ahead and refuel those tomorrow. Um, and we'll do the drums. And I might take someone even if they're not great at social, but they're good otherwise, no. That's exactly what someone with interest in that would say. I think Rakes would try it. Yeah, I don't think he has, but I think he would. I honestly think he would. Never play hit. I, I have never played a hentai game, honestly. The closest thing I've ever gotten is uh, when I streamed Dream Daddy, which is nowhere near. We're going to wait until we plant some of that. It's going mixy. It's good to see you. It's been a little while, mixy. Long pork. You turn off bugs one time. Had her leg off, it was it to him. He would literally want you to do that. I don't want you to do that. <laughs> One of my goals in life is to make sure Rakes doesn't become a cannibal. Yeah, pigs are very close to us, yeah. Alright, let's do it. I could up the impressiveness by replanting in here first. And putting two more drums. Slave ship? We don't have any money. Spend all my money. So look. BA partners. The flesh. It's most like that of man. That's right. Hey, the Wilbur flag finally gets some use. Man, Wilbur's grown up. I was not expecting Wilbur to so, be so big and buff in Darkest Dungeon 2. But Wilbur got big. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's a good question. No, I counted. Yeah, now we're at 17%. Um, 
sleep. Do you like to know the story behind the inverted pentagram in the storage room? Oh, that's just, uh, that's where we do our ritual sacrifice and, uh, you know, have parties. This morning will say something different? Hmm. The expected percentage definitely went up, though. So unless the expected percent is a, is lying or not accurate or whatever. Bananas are also close to humans genetically. That's like whatever bananas share 90 something percent of our genetic makeup. It doesn't mean we're more closely related to a banana than a pig, though, or anything like that. What's wrong with a couple pentagrams here and there? May 2021, it was reported that Legendary Entertainment had purchased the rights to the film. A remake was in development. I actually like Legendary overall, the most of their stuff, but yeah, you never know with a remake. It's hard juggling three or more people. Man, our, our playthrough before this that we won, Fabby, we had 69 colonists. No meme. We have 69 colonists. Yeah, it gets crazy. Our closest relatives that are still alive, isn't it bonobos? I think is our closest genetic relative, specifically bonobos. I feel like that's true. Nice. 90%, let's do it. Bonobos are crazy. They're the most gentle of the apes. All they do is just go around uh, Let's just say you go around loving all the time. Just all the time. So, just a quick, a quickie on the way to the bathroom. Whatever. <laughs> it's my daughter's in here. They like to love themselves as well. Yeah. That was a chimp. I think bonobos closer than chimp. If I remember right, I could be wrong. Of course, you can always look it up. But I think bonobos are our cr closest living relative. Like dolphins. They are more easygoing than dolphins. I don't think a bonobo is going to try to, you know... I don't think a bonobo is going to try to rape you, but a dolphin will. All right, Penny. How good are you? Penny. Oh, Penny, Christ. Penny, please. Bonobos are like 98.5%. So I am, I'm right. Thank you. Yeah, I thought I thought that was the case. But. We're like bonohos, am I right? Yes, Doi, you're right. <laughs> no. Bonohos. There's a documentary about them and like they're just like literally as one's just getting up to go get something to eat, it's like, well, this person's on this this not person, but this other bonobo is on the way. Might as well stop and... Oh crap, crap. They, they're not named. Hang on. Get some love it on the way. <laughs> See a butt. I need to... Some Miss Sanders in. All right, another one. Let's go. <laughs> Bert dancing on this 4X speed looks ridiculous. Shadow. Great memory. Nice. Chemical interest. Wimp. Incapable of socializing. Bad craft. Incapable of violence. like these guys aren't even trying. Come on, Shadow. I don't have all day here. What a wimp. Wait, is he actually bleeding? Okay, don't get up. It's humans that only want to share a percent of its genetic material with you. <laughs> 
Third time's a charm. Hopefully, let's do it. All right, guys, get up. It's time for a drum circle. Get up for the mandatory drum circle. How are you doing over there? You all right? Yeah, you're fine. No join that time. How long until we can do this? This five days, five days. Drum circle for another person to murder. <laughs> Accurate names. Oh my god, tomorrow I have to accept everyone. Ugh. Can't wait to see the colonists that I get handed. Maybe I should have asked if my turn could have been early. Early in it. <laughs> no, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Okay. Can I have the first uh, the first three hours of the event, please? To save the run. Uh, one of the things that they said, too, was that uh, their goal is to try to send off as many ships during the playthrough as possible. I'm not doing a ship launch on my my turn, I can tell you that. Not with what's, what's handed to me, no. No way. That would be absolute loss. The colonists you get tomorrow may be terrible, but at least there's a lot of them. How many are they up to you? Oh, you thought I was still talking about bonobos when I was <laughs> talking about goals. <laughs> no. What? Child spy. Hey, Bill. Oh, you're part of our allies, huh? Social Optimus Tough. You win this time, Bill. Arrest. I, I, we just allied those people, too. They're only allies. Is his name Bill Dozer? Bill Dozer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. It doesn't mean we're like basically the same, but they are the most similar to us, I guess. Arrest route, yeah, well, I could, yeah. But they're gone. They're gone. Probably custom pawn, yeah. Probably. Birches, let's see. 20 days. Memes, the DNA of the soul. It's probably, well, this is nowhere near as slow as the jungle run we did, where we just could not get ahead. Imagine naming your kid Bill Dozer. They want to name their kids all kinds of stuff. Every time this comes up, and I don't mean like naming them Apple or Pi or whatever, but uh, there was a famous NASCAR driver who uh, died a while back, years ago, whose name was Dick Trickle. Dick Trickle. His parents named him Dick Trickle. No one's naming their kids Karen anymore? Yeah, that name's dying out because of that. If your name was like Richard Trickle, you would use that nickname for sure though. You would choose it. <laughs> Must not make comments. Yeah. <laughs> Man named American. American McGee. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. American McGee. Dick Trickle died? Oh, yeah. When was that? That's been a while, Nunya, yeah. Unless I'm just blanking and I'm thinking of someone else, but I believe so. Just in case. Irish horse trainer called 
Willy Stroker. <laughs> God. A Willy Stroker. Uh. Let's go and run. How big do you make your bedrooms? Usually 5x5 five five interior. Uh, cast Iron Rocket. They were the Switch Prime for three months. Thank you, Cast Iron. I don't know why it hasn't made the noises yet. Welcome there it is. Back. Your steadfast loyalty yeah, I thought it was close to 10, yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you, Cast Iron. Uh, social, tough, natural background. Good at shooting. Camo Fascination kind of sucks. And IL is kind of annoying too. I don't care about angering uh, tribals. Good shooting. Good animals. Good social. They could be a shooting specialist even if we don't make them uh, into our spiritual leader. Because none of that, none of those main things right there are blocked by shooting specialist. I don't have a way to make her a gun yet either. We don't have another one. I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna chill. We're gonna we're gonna be fine. The potato stream is at 270,000 wells with 18. I'm gonna be raid capped. As soon as I start, I'm gonna be raid capped. Oof. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's weird. A machine pistol. That doesn't count. A poor machine pistol. I'm talking about like a good weapon. I'm gonna wait. Oh yeah. That's right. Jack is short for John. Yeah. Not short for a new name. I can just put it on like adventure mode. <laughs> I'll just tell people I'm 500%. It'll be fine. Seeing that machine pistol, this guy can have it. Oh. When I sell all the items, bribe both Outlander factions and the Empire. Gotta run out the clock without eating anyone or sacrificing people. <laughs> no Empire, yeah, that's true. So, well, only, the real, the only concern then is gonna be what? Uh, probably a big Scyther attack or explosive um, pirates. Who's Boganetta? Was that someone that was here? If so, then they're probably dead. Jack and John are totally different names here, but one of them is a nickname for the other either way as well. It goes both ways, I don't know why. It's like, why is Bill, like the short version of William? Why, are people, why aren't they called Will? They are called Will too, but it's also Bill. Bill is short for William. What? There's all kinds of stuff like that. Any fantasy adventure movie recommendations? And I'm so behind on movies. I never get a chance to watch any anymore. So probably not for me, but Shaq could probably help you out. Robert to Bob. Yeah, why is it Bobbert? Why is the whole name Bobbert? Adam is short for Sheila. It's <laughs> weird. All right, how many more days? One more day, all right. Why do you even use long names that require a shorter version? Why not just use the shorter version to start with? I can understand it if like the parent named them the long thing and the kid doesn't want to go by it, so they go by the short one. But yeah, otherwise I don't know. We're gonna get a good colonist in uh, when this dog is done. What was the colonist that we were getting? Let me double check them. Was that the one that was good at crafting? Ugh. 
they're okay at it. Tough time, kind, great memory. They can actually get good at crafting, in fact. Uh, because of their great memory, they're going to learn slowly, but they can get good at it. It's just that it's going to be slow getting there, but they will maintain it. So we could make them uh, crafting mining plants. So let's keep an eye out for social with good, uh, good traits. Volcanic winter for... Okay. I'm going to go with a no on that one. How long? Wait, how long? For 12 days, how long do we have? Eight days? If our growing period has ended by then, we'll do it. You lost eight year colony with 500,000 wealth. What happened? Did not want to believe that your name was three letters long. What's that short for? Oh, I saw, what was that? Um, in the Twitch Discord, someone had made it to um, affiliate. I can't remember where they were from either. Maybe the Philippines or something like that. But either way, their last name was literally CO. Their last name was just CO. That was their, their last name, those two letters. And Twitch, every time they tried to put in their payment information oh, stuff, Twitch was back. like, no, 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 your payment information can't be a company. And they were like, no, CO is my name. They're like, no, your name has to be at least three characters long and it can't be a company. I had such a hard time. The city, A, B, C, D, E. Uh, Danny, thank you for the five months. Thank you, Danny. Have a good day. I am, yeah, getting back into the swing of room world, having fun. <laughs> Rejected human. You have a friend whose middle name is only, that reminds me of The Simpsons, their middle name is only D. I remember on The Simpsons in the first couple of uh, seasons, like Homer J. Simpson, and he had this quest to figure out what his middle name, what his, the letter in his middle name stood for. And then he went to reveal it. It's like, finally, I'll know with a J. From this day forward, I won't be known as Homer J. Simpson. I'll be known as, and he reveals it. It's J spelled J-A-Y. Your initials be in A. Yeah, a raid. We got rid of some wealth though, so that's nice. Look at that, down to three, wow. We were getting up to like, what, six or so? Now we're back down to three. I think they're gonna prepare for a while. They're all melee. The letter for the middle name, for a reason. You heard the bark phone calls the mo. Yeah, I haven't watched this in a long time. I've heard it's not good anymore. All the original writers of The Simpsons are gone. A lot of them for a long time. Like, uh, we mentioned Conan O'Brien earlier. He was one of the main writers of The Simpsons in the early seasons. He's been on there in like 20 years or something. Have you ever considered doing a RimWorld run using one of the overhaul mods? Uh, people have asked me, yeah. I'm not opposed to it. I might do it at some point. You know a guy named Tom and his initials are T-O-M also? How's it going, Finn? Sip, welcome in. Ugh. Are they going to burn our crops? Yeah, that's when I remember too. Hugh. Jass. That's right. A lot of people have tons of names. Yeah, I've seen that too, where people have like five, six, seven names. Personally, can't play without Combat Extended. You're sure. Joe, you do. Yeah, a lot. That's one of the ones a lot of people want us to be do a playthrough of. I have not. I've never used that one at all. All right, here we go. Come on, auto join. Social and decent traits. That's it. Nope. Nope. All right, we'll run our own again for a little while.
what pentagrams do it's the same as a ritual spot so it's the same as having an altar but instead of an altar you can choose an uh, ideogram so ideogram which it acts the same thing yeah you can just choose which one you want most people choose an altar abrasive greedy greedy does not work with us very well natural meditation too you just make yeah it's a lot faster to make too downside is it's steel instead of like stone but and there's lots of different designs for them as well you can pick out the design oh i chose the pentagram but for no real reason summon demons and kill your rivals they'll never get a second trade either yeah that's true which can be a blessing and a curse in a way all right so i guess we're just chilling researching I think I am gonna make another room at some point no for now we can just put it here it's fine I'll even give you a light in here these this stage look at that a caring sky god you can have lights it's really weird playing at low wealth for so long I'll have these moments where I'm like, oh my god, we don't have a mortar, we're gonna die. And I realize, like, a siege right now would be like two guys and one mortar. Can a colonist get a second trait after joining? They cannot, unless, without a mod. No. No, if they didn't spawn old enough to have a adult backstory, you are making their adult backstory, kinda. No, you can't add passions, burning passions, traits, or backstories without mods. Fortunately. A light. Alright. Thanks, Morales. So the worst range you can get. Barrels alone. Such an insane high value. They're relatively, as long as you have mortars yourself, they're relatively easy to deal with, but... Yeah, it could be a pain. Like you said, oh, man, we've had some sieges where we hit them as soon as they land, and they end up dropping, like, 115 packed survival meals or something. So instantly, just a crap load of wealth. Here we go. See what tier three we're gonna get. Tier three is not really a super like important tier. There's some helpful stuff there, but Welcome tier four is where we're really gonna be looking for some premium, premium stuff. Hey, Vertigo Pulse. That's one of the ones I like the best on tier three. Um, we also have a Psychic Drone, which is unfortunate. Uh, meme. Meme with the Twitch Prime. Two months already. That dude who sent you the stupid DM on Thanksgiving sucks. Let people like that bring you down. <laughs> Thank you. I, I was more laughing at that one than anything. That one was just so out there and bizarre that I had to share it. It's just so stupid. Yeah, that, that one, it didn't bother me, but thank you. Thank you, Meme, for the resub. Your colony always ends up breaking a wealth threshold after a siege lands. His friend is interested in learning about culture and wants you to host him for 19 days. We could just put him to work during that. Where's he from? You know what? Screw it. Cave builder. Check him out. How's it going, Queen B? Welcome in. Oh, right. I forgot they changed it where they won't do any labor now. Used to, you could, they would at least like do, uh, what was it called? They would haul, but it was like uh, opportunistic hauling. But they changed it. I forgot they changed it. So this person won't even do, won't even do that. 19 days. Where are you from? I think I might just anger this tribe and eat you. 
I don't know, that's a good question. I think they count like refugees do, not like colonists, but I actually don't know. Yeah, they won't even do, uh, hang on, hang on. Are you natural meditation? He's natural meditation. So we could do something like this. If it'll let me. Yep, all right. Natural meditation. Uh, and then... Okay. So you just gotta feed them, but they'll help grow grass the whole time they're here? Works for me. Oh, excuse me, sir. You're eating raw rice? I'll help you with that. No one should be out here living off raw rice. Recovering from food poisoning, huh? I doubt it. I doubt it. It's gonna reach in about in no time. Hey, bolt goods. Nice. Nice. I'll fix that problem. <laughs> Man, I remember all the time I'd use I used to actually right click and arrest people and suddenly the trader the yeah, the traders would turn on us. All right, so let's see here. So the human leather. I want to keep the heavy fur. We're going to use that. Sell the other. Look at that. Nice. Um, I'm really tempted to buy the components. ABC, always buy components. But we've been getting slave ships and stuff. So we're only, we only have two people. So I think I'm just going to take the money. Before the doctor stream tomorrow, I might want to practice the don't murder everyone stream. Yeah, I might want to. Hey! What the crap, Echidna? Alright, Knuckles. It's time to die. Gather around and kick the homeless man to death. Don't do that. Steel plate armor is pretty good. I'm always surprised how good Triwire actually is at uh, for temperature. Um, generally temperatures. Like it's actually, if you have to choose between like a shirt and pants or tribal wear, I think tribal wear has more, depending on the material obviously, has more uh, benefit as far as temperature goes. Grow that grass, grow that grass. Kill him just cause I didn't like his haircut. No, it was cause he was eating my raw rice and winter is coming, you know? Winter's coming. What is this? Uh, it's the altar for this ideology. So it's for doing our rituals. Just an altar. Yeah, if he had cooked that rice, he could have lived, but... Yeah, no problem, Nash. Hmm. My god. Another raid. No, it's still three again. Pirates this time, though. immediately. No, he's gone. He is out.
Long gone. We'll get that done. It's time to worry about power too much, yeah. Blue fire, heavy fire, thrombo, all the variety, good warp. Matches the plate armor's defense. Yep. Heavy fire is still pretty good. Thrombo is king, of course. Holy crap, sorry, one, almost 130. Uh, time flies when you're rimming, you know? Definitely does. Every time I'm participating in some rimming, it's like a time machine. So in case you are trying to put shield and melee in front of your ranged weapons, that's an interesting question. I don't know if, that, if they actually count as cover in that sort of way. Yeah, that's a... I've never thought of it. I, I just assume that a colonist themselves don't count as actual cover. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, what's the equivalent cover percentage if you have someone standing right in front of someone else wearing a shield belt? Does it depend on what the enemy is targeting? Like, if they're targeting the one behind you anyway, it doesn't really matter. Just stray bullets will be picked up or, or what? Yeah, it's weird. 130, what? It's 730. Time zones. We'll get that. This one's not urgent, but we'll get this stuff built after we get uh, this, the traps and whatnot back up. Quest expires. Which one was it? Um, no, it's okay. Do you remember when this colony only had two colonists? <laughs> no. Still only has two. We can go pop that ancient danger. Our alerts back. The alerts are all working, but the stuff like uh, the channel points ones are not. So I have to do like. Remind yourself that okay, I have to push a button. Slow and insidious. Yeah, I need to fix it. 7:30 a.m. Sunday. My God, you're in the future. Hostility for profits. Side trainer burden. Huh. Six enemies that we might can get prisoners from. We're going to need advanced components soon. We're getting to that point. Hmm. We can do it, I think. There's two groups, which is always dangerous because... Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on where they spawn from. Like if one spawns over here and they're slower to get here and the other one here, then it's actually easier because then we just have to kill a little bit to make one. I, I think we'll be fine. It's only a one star. Yeah, okay, we'll do it. What's the worst that could happen, right? Right. The volcanic winter. Let's see. Are you another tribe? Yeah. Pyromaniac. No social again. Five craft and cannibal. Meditate. Gotta be careful. It's cannibal, which is really nice, though. Uh, you know what? You can finish that. It's fine. Also, have the one research we wanted. Okay. Die, I can't without serving the foreground. Oh, oh, I see. Let's go to Ash Lake. Welcoming.
they think cannibalism is abhorrent, but one of them is a cannibal. So they're just gonna have to deal with it. Gonna try out Oxygen Included? It's good, yeah. I really liked Oxygen Included. I haven't, uh, I haven't played it in a while, though. There's been some really big updates. We did a, a run that was like 980 cycles or something, which is a long time. Um, but there's been a lot of updates since then. And there's also uh, a DLC now that I haven't tried. Yeah, I was worried about that. Thank you for the drop. Summer World, you know what you lose? Wouldn't mind watching that. Always had issues getting things stable. I really liked that playthrough. I got kind of burned out. And one of the reasons why though is back then, I've heard it's changed a lot, but back then when you got to late game and auction not included, it was very boring and repetitive for me. And I know RimWorld can get that way too. But in auction not included at that time, when you got to end game, it was all about building rockets and you build a rocket so you could go to the next meteorite or whatever. You didn't see it, it just left. And then it would bring goods back on its own. And you would do that so you could get materials to build a slightly better rocket to go to a slightly further meteorite. And you just do that over and over and over, just trying to get to the, f the furthest one. But it wasn't very interesting. You just literally build the rocket, launch it, it comes back. Oh, now I have stuff to build slightly better rocket. But I've heard they've rehauled that entirely. So that's a lot more to that. You, I, From what I've heard, you can go much earlier and you can have you can actually play on the other meteor um uh, meteoroids meteorites whatever the game calls them asteroids i haven't played space even no it's on my wish list i thought about thought about getting it during the black friday deal but i haven't decided yet space even looks pretty interesting no voice social hard worker undergrounder plants undergrounder natural meditation Good shooting. All right, let's make a let's make a little prison. I think I might keep them. Can you send human meat for goodwill? Yes, you can. Even if they're not, <laughs> even if they're not uh, cannibals, you can do that. Yep. I think I'm gonna keep them. Actually, I think it's a temporary prison. Even absolutely worth 15 bucks. Yeah, I'm thinking about trying it. Isn't that granny pretty much? Knowing voice, hard worker, natural meditation. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see.
All right, they won't meditate in here. It's a bedroom. Unless it's their bedroom. Okay. Ski resort. Good ski too. There we go. The meditate is long gone, so I can just delete that. And they were here like no time at all. Rain happened in seven hours, so we got just a little bit. Oops. A little bit of extra um, meditation time there. Just a little prison. I mean, it's terrible, but... It's all right. What was their ideology? Supremacist. Cannibalism horrible? Uh-oh. It's not gonna be too fond of this. It's, it's so cramped in there. That's all right. Major breakdown on Meditate? Why? We butchered five people? Sorry, there's more where that's coming. Or where that came from. Oh no, we forgot to butcher that guy. Breaking refugee out here, right? Yeah, we could just cover the whole floor in, in uh, flowers after this. Make it a little prettier. I wonder if that'll actually get it to. <laughs> find out. We'll find out. How long until we can do more ceremonies anyway? Uh, like six days. I mean, we could do a sacrifice right now. Ritual human sacrifice. That reminds me, there's a clip where we first saw, like, the, uh, the preview for Ideology. And I read Ritual Sacrifice, and I, like, exclaimed it in glee. <laughs> ritual Sacrifice! <laughs> we get to sacrifice people. Uh... Things you say while you're rimming, am I right? Things you say when you're rimming. Oh no, not the, not the woodland critter Christmas. Sacrifice, so uncommon. <laughs> How's my mood? Uh, we're okay. We're okay. They can deal with it. Uh, no comments. No comments. No further comments at this time. Can't skate your skateboard, but you learned how to snowboard in your tw mid twenties. Too old to be cool. Yeah, but whenever you feel old, you can just look. I'm saying this because you have said it. Just to be clear, Aspen, you can look at your roommate and be like, "I'm not that old." Was the new asteroids were really hard? Shattered cluster. Rude. She said it, so now I can say it. That's how it works. So you know how to put out the uh, the holiday emotes. Just realized. Um, can we get this done first? Oh, we actually got up to mediocre. Just out of that. Nice. What do you know? 
That I'll do. Dole would have been fine, honestly, but. You love that. I remember so much about that. Sometimes people put me on the spot, though. Like, who was it? I, oh, I know. I know who it was. Holy crap, that shuttle. Oh, it's for the dog. <laughs> anyway, uh, Casabel was here or something. It was like the anniversary of when they had moved into their, their house or something. And I remembered it because it was the same as their like resub anniversary. And so I mentioned it. And then I think Woozy was here. And we were like, you remember all these things about, about your viewers? Um, how do you remember it all? And I was like, I don't know. I, I try to remember things about just about everyone that hangs around long enough. And then Woozy was like, oh yeah, where am I from? Where do I live? Do you remember where I live? I was like, you can't put me on the spot like that. I don't remember where Woozy lives. All right, we have a third pawn for real. Oh, we're gonna have to arrest them. Christ. It won't take long, though. Let's see what percentage they're going to get removed. Uh, per interaction. We're extremely bigoted, so it's like a minus nine or some crap. Zeros don't let him gaslight you, chat. That's right. Tet, I know nothing about you. Hey, Tet, how's your daughters doing? Did you guys have a good Thanksgiving? Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Ah, uh, Tet, man. Thank you for the 45 months. Unsubbed, unfollowed. Goodbye forever. Almost one whole year. <laughs> thank you, Tet. I appreciate it. They're good. Hope I had Thanksgiving. Yeah, thank you. It was good. It was good. Hopefully you guys did too. I don't even know where Woozy lives, let alone remember him. I think that you and Nyla are from Russia. For some reason, L, I don't remember if this is true or not. I have an idea of where you're from in my head. And I don't remember if you've ever told me. But I have an idea. In my brain, there's a, a place that comes up immediately when you say that. And I don't know if it's, it's true or not, so I'm afraid to say it. What's the worst that could happen? Ellis leaves forever. Ukraine is what came to my mind. Yeah, instantly as well. Are you in the Ukraine, El? Or is that where you're from? Ukraine is what comes to my mind immediately. Tetnu. So I was right too. Nice. Thought it was maybe a false memory. Where are you from, Lonely? Oh my god. Let's see. I want to say... Are you in Germany too? You're somewhere around there. Right? S somewhere around there. Somewhere around Germany. Can't remember where everyone's from. Hey, our first ship and it's not one I care about. Mother so Solutions. You know the lonely one? can't remember. You guys mentioned Russia and suddenly we have mother solutions. Uh, what do we got here? I'll keep the pack survival meals. But yeah, it's, it's hard to remember. I used to, back when we, you know, average like 40 or 50 people, I literally knew like every, I remembered everything that everyone told me, but now I can't. Um, I'm going to keep that because we might still get a slave ship. I'm really... I should probably buy at least one advanced component. We're also going to need gold. Man, should I go ahead and do that? Uh, well, we have gold down here. Maybe I should go ahead and buy. No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Tell you where you're from. Where are you from, Merc? Merc. 
You've never told me, so it's just a, a just a random guess, Merc. Uh, what time is it where you're at, Merc? Germany is correct. Lonely. Got it. Nailed it. I don't think you've ever mentioned Nine Rapture yet. You're in Ohio. Used to be even closer in Dayton. I think they're going to convert pretty quickly. Near Philly. You live in Dayton. You probably live within 10 miles of a Walmart. Yeah. I'm in Chicago thanks to NordVPN. If you want to be in Chicago or anywhere, sign up to NordVPN. Seriously though, NordVPN is our only sponsor. It's the only one I've ever agreed to do. I've been offered some other things. Um, this is the last month that they'll be our sponsor. Or they're gonna see if we've, um, if the stream did well enough to continue the sponsorship. It was like a trial basis sort of thing. So hopefully they continue it. It was a big, big help this year, last few months. The geo guesser of Twitch viewers. Love Chicago. The other night I was in Australia, thanks to NordVPN. There was a show that was, uh, I couldn't watch because it was local to Aust Australia. And I had to use NordVPN to become Australian. Oh, I'm not really in Australia. I'm not really in Chicago. It's uh, me. I'm not. I don't know if you're talking to someone else on there, but I'm in Indianapolis. Um, but my NordVPN is set up for Chicago. Yeah. I have a bounty to do today at three. I gotta make sure I do it. So right now we're actually going to move up to having more colonists as soon as we get this uh, these converted. I guess I will go ahead and let them start working on this building. And, um, there we go. <laughs> if anyone asked me if I travel much, yeah. Why, yesterday I was in Australia, thanks to NordVPN. Taglines NordVPN, feel that would be a little bit rude. Uh, interestingly, not long after Nord... Uh, this is like there's gonna be some like conspiracy theories but not long after nordvpn started sponsoring the stream we got our first hate raid no refugee i'm not saving you and the hate raid comes in and it's dozens of accounts that just spam racist stuff and also spams my ip address and my location i had literally just just gotten nordvpn the week before so it came in and it spammed all this racist stuff and it put my my Chicago IP and address on there from NordVPN. <laughs> I was like, thank goodness I got that. It was like the best selling point that could have happened for the uh, for the sponsor. So I was like, people were like, you think that was NordVPN doing that to show? <laughs> I don't think so. An insulting spree because the prison is in here? Coincidence. Ray used to manhunters. GA4 quit. What? Well, that sucks, Pineapple. Is there any information on why or anything? I'm gonna have to go beat them up for this or something. Dragon Age, yeah. Dragon Age 4. In a trench coat and fake mustache. <laughs> Your IP is very easy to get from streaming on Twitch. Yep. It's very easy. Yep. Unfortunately. Still having the breakdown, yeah. All right now they're sleeping. Hey, whoa. What? Why did you go? We were defending ourselves. 
And now they're dead. And I'm, I, I did this. I'm to blame. They're now hostile with us. The person they sent us had a breakdown and attacked someone. And so we defended ourselves and they're upset. How dare you strike them back? Oh my God, they cut Bert all up. Jesus. They stabbed him in the head, cut his right clavicle, his right eye, his right arm, his right hand. Yeah, well, social fight. Yeah, that's what I meant. They had a break. There was a social fight. And because that happened, they immediately become hostile with us. Yeah. Classic Rimworlds. All right. Well, there's some tribals that we are uh, now enemies with. Okay. They didn't bite his leg off, luckily. Hard knock life. If you're planning to come back to streaming, should I mean yeah you could use a VPN yeah to hide it that's what I'm doing welcome back your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated yeah you can get yeah DOS tax or denial of service attacks yeah Shnan, they were the six months six months already uh thank you very much for shooting All right. Conversion. That was fast. Convert is ready to join the colony. So they were already a colonist, so just re uh, just releasing them will make them auto-join. Okay. We got our third colonist, finally. Not who we wanted, but... I don't know. It's Bob's kid. Bob's kid. Maybe it's just Bob's skid. All right, Bob, congrats. So we want them to get good at crafting. Finally, someone that can mine, see. Um, let's turn art off here. Um, you can help with growing, planting. We'll do that secondary for now. All right. Good enough. All right, Bob. You've been converted. All that good stuff. Um, all right, natural meditation. Could just change that, but you know, whatever. There you go, Bob. We're gonna put you on medicate medication, no meditation schedule. You know, maybe. Berthold. Uh yes, yeah, it's a, a regular at the, at the channel, yeah. You could hate raid that stream, that's right. There is juicy butts and thick veiny sausage. Yeah, sausage is uh one of those people that I talk to uh, on Discord a bit about Darkest Dungeon stuff. So. He comes and hangs out while I'm Darkest Dungeoning. Alright, and this one is going to be the social one, I suppose. It's going dip, welcome in. So we'll get this done. And then we'll convert this to, to barracks, I think. I think so. Let's go with Barca. Thank you again, by the way. I think Juicy Bots and Thick Vanny Sausage will be the 2021 internet power couple. Ice. Wallow comes to sub to you.
hopefully get most of that done time out time we're all play through it looks so much fun that's an old yeah it's a really old playthrough i think uh, i've been talking about wanting to do a new one since back then 500 percent didn't even exist of course no ideology or anything like that so i might do another one but yeah it was uh you gotta add all those those dots there it was really fun yeah thank you for watching that lots of newer playthroughs up there too if you ever are interested in watching all right so we'll get all this harvested go bob go go bob go uh bob i guess i'll put you in here for right now edit out pause i can't win <laughs> another silver meteorite what two of those i kind of wish they were components but i mean silver's uh silver, silver's valuable oh no it's not gonna be warm in there how close are you to uh he's way off might have to put a heater in there i mean eventually we'll need another heater somewhere anyway so it's not a huge deal Let's we'll do it. It's a pretty small room for that heater, but great YouTube comments. That's what you had you laughing. Is that so stupid? Yeah, that one didn't upset me or anything like that. I I literally saw it and I like shook my head, and gave a quick chuckle. It's so stupid. <laughs> Someone earlier was saying that I should uh, screenshot all the things I get like that because I get things like that every couple days probably. I should screenshot all of them and make like a montage of them. Glad you can't believe. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, 99% of the people on there are perfectly fine. And then you get that. <laughs> you get that. All right, Bob. Let's get the steel. It's always those one percenters. Could be a personal thing. And Granny le reads a meme line. <laughs> oh, I can't read most of those yet. I'd have to. There'd be a lot of. Why don't you play the game? <laughs> There'd be a lot of that. The rending is expected. Oh. That's right. Bob needs to be scarred. No moral guide right now. All right, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. That bleep scared you. <laughs> Look at this excellent prison cell. Look at that. This must be in one of those like Scandinavian countries. Just need a TV in there. No, they, they didn't want me to stop. They wanted me to also do that wood, yeah. Apparently. What kind of software do I use? Uh, it's a mixer. So I use the GoXLR mixer. And then it has all these knobs on it. And I've turned them and saved the presets into the GoXLR software. So it's, 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 it's a mixer, yeah. What all do I have on here? Right now, I have, I have the devil... What is, what is this one? Oh, that's Lydia. What is this one? Oh, that's right. In the rear with the gear. What is this one? Oh, is this the Borg? Like a Borgish with an echo? Maybe it's the sound of God. I don't know. I've never used this one. And then we have Granny on the walkie talking. And what is this one? Oh my God, that's a, that's a little boy. I'm a little boy. Um, that, baby. That, this one's terrible. That, that one's terrible. It's Locutus. That's what I have. There's six preset buttons I have set up. Some of them I never use. No cat voice. No, I don't have anything. But I mean, I can all. I, you can change the reverb, pitch, gender, echo, etc. All right. Soon we'll have the banks. Yeah, Kit Boga, yeah. Yeah. 
mind on cast raids, see how massive stuff can get. Uh, if you do that, you can also play on a smaller map. That'll help the lag a little bit, but it can only do so much, yeah. You like the StarCraft one? Which button was that, three? In the rear with the gear. Yeah, I like that one. It could also be like a clone trooper or something. Jimmy here. These are not the droids we are looking for. Rocket Man, Tiny Map, 500 versus 500 Battle Royale. <laughs> Just fill the friggin' map. What would happen? Yeah, if you were on, if you were on a tiny map like that and you had a 200 person raid, like literally more bodies that can fit on that map, what would happen? Raiders, whoa. Well. Just like in the simulations. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what would happen. They literally can't walk all into the map. It's decreaming. That would be, uh, that'd be weird. All right, Bob, I need to get you on some other projects here. So I'm gonna take cleaning down. What else should I do with you? I could work on getting some more research benches down, but eh. Food binge. Um, no, just mod for that. have all those voices but not general grievances i don't have that now food binge not too concerned about it we definitely need to get our priest up though that's who we're gonna make this uh person into the recruited 14.9 it's gonna take quite a while uh we didn't get lucky with a more to trust more to trust is so good to get early or just in general bob we'll get you a slab bed don't you worry bob tainted travel you came with tainted tribal wear no you just put it on because i don't have clothing rules my bad it's only minus one though huh no no it's minus eight he only has one on my bad I saw a one and I was like, why is it only minus one? Was in prison. Ah, he'll get over that. Awful bedroom. Ah, I thought that'll be gone soon too. All right. Really just need the swan guy to to join. Turn him into the priest and then we'll expand this. We'll get our outer walls probably once we get to four. There's a mod for that. We haven't been attacked in a little while, right? We got a lot of raids there for a little bit, but whoops. Yeah, it's been a little quiet. This is the longest lull that we've had in quite a while. Oh, oh, never mind. Group of Outlanders are gonna prepare for a while. Five, they have frag grenades. Okay, we should be fine. It'll be okay. I've been attacked for a while. Yeah. Thanks, Randy. I have a button that summons raids. Oh, there's six. I didn't see the sixth one down there. Yeah. I don't don't let it fool you. I, I just have you know. This isn't just for sound effects, you know. Bob, you don't even have a weapon. There's a tough one. Streamlabs integration. <laughs> Six pirate raid, huh? Okay. At least I'm no longer breaking down. That's nice. Your 
fine, Bob. Don't worry about it. Basically killed themselves. So that's nice. Uh you know what? Just capture. We'll look at him afterwards. Incapable of putting out fire? No. It's probably not in the home zone. What do we got here? Got jogger, eleven social. Greedy really sucks, man. It because we want to do um, a barracks. Greedy doesn't work with the barracks. Uh, I'll probably just kill them. Uh, top misogynist. Tough is good. Nimble there. The nimble one with the grenade. Eleven burning passion crafting. Nimble, Steadfast, both really good. Um, it could be a production specialist. We might keep that one. Maybe. I think I'm going to do a ritual for one, and then I'm just going to execute the other. Nicole, the dancer. Grown by and for science, Nicole gave it up. Instead, she wanted to dance for crowds across many worlds. From the glamour of the glitter world to the dangers of the rim. Such work required wearing a smile on her face and a pistol under her costume. This is where your story ends. Left lung destroyed. I might keep them on the road. That's, yeah, that's weird. They're at a negative for crafting. That is odd. I didn't notice that. This is where my story ends. I got food poisoning. Incompetent cook. Wait a minute. I'm the cook. Stupid cook. You sell them to the slave ship as long as they're able to walk. Yep. How convenient. We do have two lungs right beside them, yeah. Hello. Has anyone else gotten in it yet? What? Well, that's good at least. Someone's using it. Operation. We're going to fail this big time. Years 5503, the ninth of September and the final hours of my life. They have to be able to walk to be able to sell them to the slave ship is the problem. Man, my daughter's exploded. I might sell this one though. Let's see what they have. Yeah, let's see what they have before they're gone either way. We might can sell that guy if there's someone better here. We got Speedy, Slothful, Gourmand. Uh, no. Kind Teetotaler. Kind is good. Still learn. I don't really like, but... Sanguine. Sanguine. Social. Not natural meditation, even though they're tribal. Already good at shooting. This thing one's really good. Is that the best trait? I don't think it's the... Well, it's just it's a really good one. Yeah, it's a top tier one. Hmm. 
They would join as a slave, so we'd also have to still um, convert them and whatnot uh, and recruit them. Hard worker. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on it right now. Yeah, it's unfortunate they're not good at anything else. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh well. Uh, I'm gonna keep waiting. Okay, squid. Consume, no. This is probably gonna fail, but if it does, oh well. Are you operating or are you tending? Because I don't want you to... Okay. All right, squid. Oh, it actually succeeded. Look at you. Look at you. And then if we keep you, we can give you that one. Nice. Uh, the offering. Not so long. We gotta wait until squid's able to, able to walk. We're also almost ready for the drum circles. We're gonna need a little bit more wood for that. Um, okay. Yeah, a little's grown down here over the last year or two. That'll do. A birch tree has grown. That's what it's right there. Names are up here. Fur was a faction leader in your game and calling us another stream. I tend to see a couple names of mine a lot. I don't know. Yeah. Fur is not one I see very often, though. All right. No, I'm not selling my daughter. <laughs> uh, tier four. We're looking for Berserk. Please, please, RNG gods, Randy, whoever's listening. Berserk. Berserk is so good. You got it. Berserk. Berserk. Come on. Red's the name of a colonist that tends to die early on in years or die a lot in years. I see lots of like Komodo, Alligator. I see Fugly a lot. We got Skip, which is really good as well. It's not what I wanted. Skip uh, is has lots of utility though. Be used defensively, offensively, just to move things around. It's good. It's not Berserk, which is what I wanted though. Gotta get to Chorin. <laughs> I asked if they were hanging out. Much appreciated. Yeah, I get Fugly in my runs a lot. Fugly. What's interesting too about that is when you, you can still go buy a name. And when you buy a name, it tells you a couple things like, a couple of rules about it. It's like, it has to be something that could really be like a real name, a real nickname, all this other stuff, right? But a fugly got through. Squirt, I see squirt quite a bit too. Poopy, I see poopy quite a bit. I see pecs, pecs a lot. Squid, no longer capable of walking, huh? Since I'm over my food poisoning, you're dead. Isn't his not nickname though? Yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of the same tribal names too, like Alligator, Komodo. Komodo is one I see a lot. Humps, I see humps a lot too. Dumbo, I've seen occasionally, Maker occasionally. Humps seems to be pretty common as well. Yeah, remember the hen boners? Have I ever seen ice? <clears throat> Wallow, no. Wow, 
Oh, we've actually researched multi-analyzer now. <laughs> there she goes again. Um, I'll go and grab fire form. All right, I'll be right back. Don't don't let him. Oh Christ! Never mind. Squid. Oh wait, I have food poisoning. I'll be right back. Don't let me die. Feeling scanning. Yeah, it's going to be important, I think. You see a whole lot of people named Sacrifice. Yeah, that's probably the most common one I see, honestly. Real life? Okay, real life. Oh no. People are eating raw food. Why didn't you guys cook some meals while I was gone? Come on, guys. Come on. Satisfactorians. A lot of people have told me that I probably like that game, but I haven't had any interest in trying it yet. I don't know why. There's your food. Uh Come on, chair. I told Lisa to do it, but she was unconscious. Uh, it was a like a meat stick, like one of these things. My daughter asked for one. Hey, a child, feed. That's right. So we'll release Cilia right now. Yeah, we have someone in the community who's in here a long time. Uh, stuff, stuff, and stuff is their name. Who talks about it quite a bit. Alright, let's deliver food then. You ready to forfeit all of your time now? At least I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep you or not. We good though. Bob, what happened, Bob? Yeah, yeah. Well, you can't be naked, so. I don't want you to start making the clothing if we're going to keep Lisa, you know? You understand. He, he knows what I'm saying.
Uh, wood. Thank you for the gift sub. Who'd you hit? Bright seduction for two months. Stuff, stuff, being McStuffins. Oh, I do not. So Lisa's gear. Yeah. Squids. They'll die if I do. Is the thing. We're about to sacrifice this guy anyway, though. So I think I'll go ahead and strip him. And then we'll do the sacrifice. I have to wait until Bob's over his bullcrap. So when Bob's done breaking down, we'll strip Squid for clothes for Bob, and then we will sacrifice Squid on the altar. A way to force prisoners to wear certain clothes. You, There's a mod for it. You can also do something that I do sometimes, is if you make a stockpile zone, and you set up to allow certain apparel in here, and set it on critical, people will go drop the apparel in here, and the prisoner will just put it on if it's in the room, if they're already naked. But it's, uh, it's a little bit of, like, micromanagement that you have to do. There's a mod. Prisoner clothes or something. There's a mod for that, as always. But it's fully healed. There's a dress up patient ones as well. That works for prisoners. Uh, crap. Dress sick people too. Yeah, I've seen that. Better pawn control as well. That one's one I hear uh, mentioned a lot, but I haven't tried it. It's pretty dirty uh, prison cell you got going there. Badly malnourished. Again? It's almost like you need to eat every day. Sometimes more than once a day. Ridiculous. That's what we call high maintenance. Price is a belief. What do you believe in now? Perfect legion, they will not save you. Lisa. Be careful. Feeding all these mouths. How's it going, Barry Milkman? Mod for fishing and making sushi. There, there is a mod for fishing. I don't know about. Sushi. I'm, I've always been really surprised that there's no fishing baseline in Rimworlds. Really, it's always been a, a shock, to me. All right, strip him. Begin the offering. You guys want to? I can't. I can't allow you to watch. No, I'm sorry. Do it. Hopefully, the blood hits the walls this time. They like it. You're in 150 plus mods. Jeez. Fishing boating, just vehicles outside of pack animals in general. Come on. Transport rod crash, I don't got time for that. I don't got time for that. Extract tree to order menu, had to grab a mod for it. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's, that's interesting that it's not on there. Wow, it was satisfying and uh, we're happy about that. Got an auto join. Gourmand, fast walker. Can construction though. Also a herder, natural meditation. Doctor, cooking, construction. Oh man. Gorbon sucks because it eats. Th they eat three meals a day instead of two. I mean, that can be offset later on. I'm really tempted just because they're a herder. Uh, is Randy been interesting so far? Um, 
he's he's had moments where he taxes quite a lot in this one. Like, look at that. Four overlapped raids. So there's been sections. It's been a little while since he's been crazy, though. But we've been keeping really low wealth. We've been keeping under 30,000 wealth this whole time. So raids have been pretty, uh, pretty slim. And we were down at two colonists for all this whole time, too. Do I want to keep you or not? I really don't like Gourmand. Always good to have another doctor. Destruction is really good, especially later on. Nice to have someone dedicated to cooking. And the big thing is that natural meditation. Because we don't have anyone else. Uh, well, actually, we have Bob now. Hmm. Fast Walker is really good, too. I just don't know if we're going to have... Food. Moody buff, we're not getting five plus quality meals and a buff for lavish. Man. I always thought it was weird too. Yeah, there's just, they literally just eat one more meal a day. Uh, and the random breaks, yeah. The random breaks are annoying. I don't think I'm going to keep them. Oh crap. So unfortunately they died immediately, so we got a debuff for witnessing allies' death, huh? Minus five. But it's... Oh well. Minus five is so nice. We can manage yourself take Gramond or they take Pyro if you had to pick. Yeah, I would too, overall, yeah. Yeah, we have quite a bit on him now, yep. Look at all that. Executed guilty pres prisoners plus 10. Satisfying sacrifice plus 5. That's from our ritual. Serious pain. Scarified. Uniform thoughts. Victory by noble weapon. Wielding SMG. Slept on a slab bed. Wearing button-down shirt. Lots of little ones, yeah. I need to decide on Lisa to you. Loyal Arctic Fox. Uh, two X size met cluster at two stars. No. Making out research. Making out research. I can start doing drumming to. I should probably wait until winter's done. Well, it's not even winter yet, man. Although we could have an auto join that we would take over Swan, we just kill him. I Meal's mean, a problem because you probably have to spend more time. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It's not just the extra food that they spend, yeah. It's them traveling to and from eating too. Colonists have them hurt one of your animals, you can banish them for it. Yeah, but if I banish them, I don't get their meat or their leather. You see? Let's go to Snowy Welcome in. That becomes a problem. So I'll just take the minus three. And it'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, if they wanted to give me some human meat and leather before they headed out to wherever they're going when I banish them, then then we would we'd be talking. But it's going Swan. Where are you at right now? Twelve point two. Hmm. Minerals after all. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty uh, is greatly appreciated. Thank you for the resub. Four months. Still subbed here. Lucky me. Lucky me indeed. No, thank you. I do appreciate it. 
Thank you for the resub. Um, I think we're gonna convert into the barracks. So we won't even have to worry about uh, dressers or anything because they don't Welcome they ignore back. comfort. Your steadfast mm. loyalty is greatly appreciated. It's kind of interesting. I could do this. I might just make it like everything in that room. I just have a little clear base. Prison break. You guys are going to freeze to death. You know that, right? Oh, I don't want to kill you, but I will. Come on, Swan. You were going to be our moral leader in this world. Swan, if we can't catch up to you melee, I'm just going to kill you. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sun. What? No, 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 no. What are you doing? Lisa? It's going to break the ancient danger open? For God's sake. I could have used skip, yeah. I was pretty sure we could catch up to them, but... Uh, who was that? Ivax, 47 months. Thank you, Ivax. That is since the dawn of time. Thank you, Ivax. And, uh, Driss, thank you for the Twitch Prime also. Thank you, Driss. Casting is a tier one, so thank you for the support. A generous bestow. Scam train. Let me remember the button for, for it. Misfortune, thank you for the 100 bits. Yay. No, that's not it. All aboard the hype train. That's the right one. You want to take my life, I shall take yours too. Ah, they're fine. That's what happens though. Look at all these doors and that. I should throw her in there with you. With him, but. Yay! I'm really thinking about just making everything the same room this time. A mega room. The mega room. Definitely some benefits to that. Mm. And some some downsides too, of course. Should make some more food. People are eating ra raw rice again, I think. Infection. Well, I should have thought about that, Lisa. If you live, you live. If you don't, then oh well, we'll eat you. Winter has finally begun. I think we have enough food to get these three through. I don't know about five people though. Combat supplier. Well, we do have some money. A little bit of money. Trade was smelly. What's your favorite kind of pawn? All right. Um, sell you all this junk. Um, I'll keep one of the frag grenades. It's really tempting to buy one of those armors, or helmets, or whatever. Reduce wealth and buy one of those. Sounds good, but I'm trying to save that for when we uh we actually get a good slave for person coming through. Love hash for shooting plus notice gun. Uh, that's only seven. It's not too bad. Seven tribals. Oh, it is bad because we don't have any of this set up.
I failed to rescue refugee. Just waiting for it to say they're coming. All right, here we go. Some of these are definitely gonna get through. Quite a few, actually, I think. Days where you can place adjacent traps. Man, that was a long time ago. I bet there's a mod to bring that back too. I've never seen one, but I bet there is. To running away, yeah. What? Why do you want birds so badly? Ah, oh, you're fine, Bert. You're fine. All right, let's see what we got this time. Or trials. Sickly teetotaler. 17 shooting. Tough. Jealous. Social. Cooking. Already a nine in social. Social cooking. They can get our spiritual guide also. Or instead, I should say. Hard worker, though, is pretty good. Tough is really nice. Jealous doesn't matter to us at all. Mole, I don't want you at all though. We'll just go ahead and execute you. Okay. What happened to the colony? Uh, nothing. We're good. We just got attacked, but we're good. Okay, Bob's gonna be fun. Another trader gamble. <laughs> Could do that. Yeah, if we get attacked again right now, we're gonna have a bad time. So I need to, I need to get this stuff fixed. I think I might switch over to nutrient paste. Been talking about it for a while. I'll always switch back out of it later. They're gonna be unhappy about it, but it's gonna free up some time. Um. All right, I'll do it. Clip. Glad you enjoy it. The song is really good. Yeah, I really like this one. It's a newer one. She's dead. Maybe it's time for some rapid expansion. Loyalty. 
He will join us or die, Master. Uh, Chell. Chell, thank you for the two months. Thank you, Chell. Very much appreciated. Much love to Chell and to Doi for the gift sub to Splash Woman for their 13th month. Uh, thank you, Doi, and thank you, Chell. So, in Shadow, welcome in. You love Randy. Prisoners agree, rapidly expanding out of the prison. It was, uh, it was fun, not custom. Navy Talent Tribal, random site, got rolled. In Warm Swamp, died in malaria if we're doing anything. Sounds right. Sounds right. How does fluid ideology work? So, with fluid ideology, basically every time you do something related to your ideology, like a ritual or something like that, you'll get points. And at 10 points, you can reform, you can change your precepts every time, but you can reform and add or remove a meme if you want. Um, and then you can redo your precepts, so. And the price goes up the more times you've done it. So like your first time will be 10 points, second time will be 12 and so on. But you start out with just one low or medium impact uh, meme for your ideology, and then you develop it from there and you can change back and forth as you earn points to spend on it. Let's go train for intellects. All right, if this guy survives, we might keep him. If not, then I don't care. There's corpses everywhere, gotta get this cleaned up. We find them. All right, we've been we've been small for quite a while. I just really want a social pond and a crafter. Really, that's it. That's it. Oh no. <laughs> Five. Um. We have nothing set up. I don't have a trash stack up yet. Since 13, all right. Did a fast jogger. Destruction mining. Not bad either. Transfer pod? Jesus, there's so many just bodies on the map right now. Masochist. We'll still grab them to sacrifice or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Ready smashing every button. He's like, you know what? I'm going to sleep for a little while. I'm just hit all the buttons. All right. Don't worry. We'll send you guys some uh, human leather or something here soon. You'll be our friends again. We'll like, get more points, I should say. It's the one I was going to sacrifice. Uh, let's see. What is the percentage on these? They're really low. So I think I'm just gonna execute instead. Yeah. Tin crafting. Masochist. It's actually not bad. Basically kind of sucks against Randy, but... We can't feed all these people. I gotta make some decisions. All right. Let's go through here. What do you have? Steadfast Jogger. <laughs> the construction. All right. What are you? What are you? Are you dying from the? Uh, you're probably gonna die for it unless you cut your arm off. Were you amazing? Uh. We're thinking about taking you over Swan, huh? Ah, oh, that's fine. That's fine. He's innocent though, just let him die. <clears throat> Is Grace Season on this tile? 20, yeah, 20. Think I killed the good one? No, I looked at it. 
instead of a jogger. This is the one I'm considering, and then this one has the um, I haven't seen that combination dash. It's pretty good. You know what? We keep having food delivered to us, though. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Alright, this will help me to not have to cook. Fear of War. I think it was the two months. Thank you, Fear. Much appreciated. Much loved. Fear of War. I, they really need to add the, uh, the bins here. The hoppers, rather. To this, like they have. Yeah, yeah. You're eating raw rice. Stop it. Just gonna make one of those. And we are gonna turn off this power. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do. Okay. Yayo. Yeah, first run of this type. Or did Randy knock some names off the list? First run of this type, yep. The Matrix. See, did your face? Me too, yeah. All the body needs. Everything the body needs. Bolt goods trader. Nice. Alright. Sell all that human leather. Very good. Jade. I'm gonna sell it for now. We'll have some later. What are you guys selling? Um, we could do the whole cow milk thing. It's pretty worth it. We're gonna buy that advanced opponent. We're gonna do that really soon. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy their components too. Bring that in, please. Swan, how close are you? 10.9. My lord. What is my social at these days? Four. Start at one or zero or something. One, I think. Trees at four. Big emergency. Yeah, this one's one that's probably going to die. We could get off their arm. It's going to take medicine. I'm not too bothered by it. I looked over and saw a link suddenly, and I was like, someone's spamming links? It was my bot. It was my bot. Okay. Come on, Swan. I guess I can get rid of this, too. Probably... Pretty much done with the base research. Where are you handle the bot? Hey, bulk goods. Uh, quick, chop these people up. Oh my god, he dropped the pace meal right there. Christ. Uh, get that out of the way. <laughs> Go back to prison.
Uh, it's kind of dangerous. Had that door left open when we were doing the whole uh, defend inside the base thing. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. Trying to cut these up so we can trade this bolt good ship before it goes. Go on, get. I might send someone off trading again sometime. But like, in a way that I think they're gonna actually survive doing it, you know? Come on, get done. Okay, um, that human meat's probably gonna be fine. It's still winter time, so I'll keep that. Leather is the main thing I want to get rid of. Grab their advanced components. Good enough. Not mule. Mule cost me Christmas. <laughs> EMI fields? No. We'll freeze to death without our power. Transport pod, who are you? Spartak. Uh, this is our ally. So. So get us some more rep with him. What? Spartak. <laughs> Decide you're all right then, huh? All right, uh, go wander away and then decide that you're gonna freeze to death and then we'll get blamed for it. Good, good. Okay. Just a flesh wound just fell out of space. Gonna make it? Got the Spartac. Nice. But the downside is, we don't get rep for that. Because they were never rescued. Though we literally rescued them, but... Trait has anything to do with Spartak living? Probably, at least them getting back up, yeah. <laughs> That's a flesh wound mod. So we won't have to do the barracks in the same way we normally do, since we're using slab beds. Well, not just because we're using slab beds, because they don't care about comfort. No uh, end tables, no head tables, whatever. No dressers. Yeah, get those done. World right now, got a great old mage. He reached base, he got a heart attack. <laughs> Just a flesh wound, less likely to lose organs. Are they also less likely to have like, uh, their arm ripped off in one go or anything? That definitely sounds useful. That as well. Yeah, that does sound good. Bob, Bob, Bob. Hmm. Muscle parasites on the sickly pawn. Um. Great. We'll make another one. Not another sickly pawn. Another small prison. It's 
I kind of like both of those. Uh, this one, if we get them, it's going to be a crafting specialist and they could get us really good weaponry going. And then we're going to have to deal with them being sickly, but they're going to be happy when they're sick because the masochist obviously is going to impact their, um, their manipulation still, but. And we're going to up like all my characters time. I mean, because you have quality bionics mod. We're down to 7.7. .7. It's actually not that bad. All right. Um, researching some odds and ends here. At least we got nutrient base going now, so more things are getting done. Base got a little bit uh, busy for just two people, well, three now to take care of. Low mood, yeah, yeah. We gotta get them in here. Uh, so they added, I think it was 1.3. When uh, the amount of doors on a prison uh, increases the chance of, pr of prisoner breakout, prisoner escapes. They did that to stop like hallway prisons. A lot of people would just have hallways in their base and they would just throw their prisoners in there in prison beds. It was very efficient. And everyone knows Tynan hates efficiency. Mike, are you worth risking the entire run for? I'm gonna say no. Capable of violence. Why well, ask you in low wealth? And notice you haven't built floors. Um so one is to keep your stockpile low. How That's the biggest one. The biggest one is keeping your stockpile of stuff low. So whether I, that means dumping stuff to make allies, which uh, that's what we've been doing quite a bit in this run, or literally, like we recruited someone earlier that we did not plan to have as a colonist, literally just to get rid of wealth. Like we recruited them because they were quick to recruit. We gave them like, I don't know, 700 human leather and we just sent them off on a caravan uh, to give it away, or if they died trying, then that was fine too. So the stockpile is a big one. Don't like overproduce food, don't overproduce blocks. So orders like this, like do until you have X are really good, instead of do forever or whatnot. So uh, do until you have X will help with that. Yeah, I, I usually don't use floors for most of the game. What's goal this run? I don't know. Play until we get tired of it and then see the credits, I guess. Muscle parasites. It's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Two diseases back to back. Let's go on Sentinel. Right now, the goal is to get a social pawn and a crafting pawn, even, though even if they aren't the same pawn. It'd be better if they're not, actually. Borrow a colonist for 14 days for six glitterol medicine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so the important thing to know is if you're not like super min maxing, if you're not playing on 500%, like flooring adds so little wealth. You don't really have to worry about it too much. It's really, really like a min maxing thing. Obviously, I don't like flooring where you're cooking food either way because dirt doesn't get dirty. You don't have to worry about food poisoning as much that way. Uh, just note that if you do floor something, it's going to start getting dirtier in your base. And so you're going to have to spend time cleaning or more time cleaning. Uh, once you floor one thing, you should probably floor everything. Because they're not tracking between. Yeah, but the big one is just stockpile management. Destroy clothing that you're not going to use or give it away. Don't overproduce food, don't overproduce blocks, things like that. Eventually, we might move to a different map if we're going to end up... Uh, we might have multiple colonies, so we'll get, just research some other stuff. Let's go to Aria. An MMO RPG crypto game. What's the name of that? It's fairly interesting. And Battle Crab, welcome in. Crab, it's been a long time, but I remember you. Can't wait for the mass remodeling of the charity stream, like Rimworld beats house flippers. <laughs> I might do it, yeah. House flippers. Tear this crap down after we get these recruits. Hmm. 
Come on, Bob, get over it. It's going diff with Wilkman. Trying to wait until cold season o is over before I do these rituals on the drum. Unless we need some human meat, but. Individual prison of the table and lights. <laughs> I've turned into a good guy. I'm trying to just recruit them faster, yeah. It's all self serving, so. It's not for the good of the colony. It's not for the good of the prisoners, I should say. Bart's knocking that research out. Look at him. Down to 5.3. So I convert too, though. Way to go, Bert. Minor breakdown risk. Uh, yeah, that's he has catharsis. It's fine. How you doing? Muscle parasites, trivial malnutrition. Yeah, these are clothing donations for prisoners. That's right. <laughs> I could throw them in the water so they deteriorate faster. They're really not that much value in general. That's all tainted stuff. So it's basically no points at all. But I don't want to spend time destroying it, so I'll just let it deteriorate. Go away. Hey, any uh, any visitors want to put on some tainted clothing that's been laid in the snow for a year? That's fine. Thanks, Hellscare. Wow, wow. <clears throat> we got some traps set up now. No, self through the flak year. Uh, there's, we're not really running into flak very often right now. So, I mean, very occasionally we'll have something like these flak pants, but we'll get a smelter eventually. But yeah, not yet. Haven't bothered yet. Combat supplier. If they have a chain shotgun, I might buy it. Maybe even SMG actually. We'll see. Hurry and run out there before they leave. Because of the cold weather. Happy is another name I see a lot. They have a chain shotgun. It's only a normal. But it saves us quite a bit of... Uh, I mean, we're lowering wealth in getting a chain shotgun. But it saves us quite a bit of uh, materials making our own. And we don't have anyone good at making them right now anyway. So I might just go ahead and grab it. Yeah, I'll do it. I guess we don't need that lung anymore either. We can always get more lungs. Those things grow on trees, basically. Pickles. What? Why are you saying pickles? All right, there it is. Good job, Bob. I don't know why I'm telling you good job. Literally, all you did is pick up a, a gun. Oh, you see pickles a lot. Gotcha. A pawn name. It's like, I don't know. Maybe you're eating pickles. <laughs> I don't know. I got you. You see pickles a lot. Um. That's on. Yeah, see, it's basically like the charity event. Hard to ever make individual prisons like this. Grass is growing slow. It's all right. Winter, it's almost over. Although our growing season doesn't start until like 11 days into spring, so. Please join me. I made you a bedroom. I never do this. <laughs> You're my favorite prisoner. I never treat prisoners this way. Look how amazing this is. That's pretty far away. Bert, that is not a great place to go stargazing, my friend. That is not a good idea at all. Not even a little. Not even a little. All right. I do have a bounty I have to do today. I'm gonna save this before anything happens. Uh, and then I'll tell you guys about the bounty. But uh, 
Yeah, I don't want another one of those four or five raids in a row keeping me here outside the bounty. Let me go ahead and save it. We'll have to continue this colony later.